Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and welcome back to our Rising Sun campaign. In the last episode, we had a brief moment of peace immediately brought back to uh, all the war possible with a war currently against Russia, Italy, and most of all, Great Britain. So... While we have the entire world stacked against us, the main threat is the never-ending flood of British fleets that have come all the way across the world simply to die. And we are going to, uh, you know, help with that somewhat. Now we have a fleet up here of four battleships, three heavy cruisers, five light cruisers, and a destroyer that I would like very much to punch in the face. Now if you guys remember correctly, our Shogun class has a lot of guns that uh, are 14 inches. It has 12 of them. So we, we want to we show this ship off a little bit, and uh, the only way to do that is to send it into action. Now, we have also set up our heavy cruisers to leave the port and head down here to sort of blockade this passageway and force the British to go the long way. If they want to go through here, they're going to have to fight all of our heavy cruisers. Meanwhile, our battleship brigades, or fleets, are all up here trying to take back all of the land that was stolen from us, a.k.a. Sarawak, um, or Sarawak whichever way it's pronounced. But uh, not only are we going to do that, we're going to take the rest of Bord uh, Bordeaux as well. So we already started by taking North Bordeaux. Now we're going to grab the Brunei region. Then we're going to grab Sarawak back, get that massive oil that is there, like good God. And then we're going to grab South Borneo. And uh, yeah, or just regular Borneo. I don't know what it's called, but we're going to grab it. And that way we have the entire island. Then, then we will, uh, you know, go back to taking the rest of the British uh, territory in Asia, you know, as we do. Now, in the last episode, the uh, Japanese province of Kyrgyzstan, I know, crazy, has initiated a land grab for Xinjiang. And I apologize to any Chinese out there that uh, think that I am saying this incorrectly because you're probably right. But we are not fighting the Chinese. We're fighting the Russians uh, on a land battle. And so far, we are making progress. So there is every hope that uh, Kyrgyzstan will be successful in this invasion and take this province of Xinjiang, uniting our lands after all this time and setting up what will hopefully lead to more land grabs of us taking Mongolia back. You guys remember Russia actually stole this from us not too long ago, so we need to get that back. And then who knows from there, maybe we go a little bit more crazy and, uh, you know, our government can help grab the rest of it. All I'm saying is I would love for some uh, government intervention on grabbing some territory. God bless America. Or in this case, Japan. So uh, we do have a little bit of problems going on here from Bangladesh, which is they are trying to invade and are succeeding in in uh, moving forward against Burma. Uh, that's not ideal. Burma has oil, and we need to protect it. So one way to protect it, obviously, is to try to take this territory of Bangladesh for ourselves. So if we can knock these guys out of here, that would be ideal. They do have this big fleet here, but they also have a couple of uh, ships in port to try to lure out. Um, our big, big ship heading up there. Hopefully we can get that accomplished today. We got a lot, a lot of action on the table. So I hope you guys are ready. I know we're, we're getting a lot of, uh, of Ultimate Admiral action lately. So I hope you guys are enjoying as much as I am. Earth, good to see you. Eris, Rich, Ender, Griffin, Christopher Hill, Iron Man, Nukta. Uh, Megan, Snow, Wolf, good to see everybody. Welcome to the stream. Let's get this party started. And the first thing we want to do is check in the finances. We are winning by getting extra money per month. That's, that's awesome. Which means we now bump this up even further. We do have transport issues, which is not ideal. 
Um, we're not going to uh, we're not going to try to increase our, our shipyard at this time. This is a fine size currently, so we want to keep going. Uh, but we do have to try to uh, kick kick the British out of here at some point today. Uh, and as you can see, they are they are mobilizing their entire fleet to come to us. Remember, it used to be all over here, and the United States and Great Britain were kind of slugging it out in the uh, Atlantic. Yep, 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 that seems to be over. If you look here, uh, they are no longer at war with the United States, which means they can focus all of their firepower on little old me, and that's exactly what they are doing. Which is why the never-ending flood of, of British ships just keeps coming. They are currently at 236 ships. They started this campaign against us with over 300 ships, but we have made a nice little dent, cutting their fleet in about a third. So, we will hopefully keep this party rolling. Let's get this party started. Next turn! I would expect multiple battles to be popping up. Uh, I also expect some transports of mine to be going down, which is definitely not ideal, but we will see. But I hope you guys are having a great night as well. And don't forget to punch that like button. Let YouTube know that this is something that's fun to watch. I do appreciate you guys. You know that. Britain has revolted again. Good. The government is able to provide a substantial amount to the Navy's budget this month, but can also give this amount to social programs. What are your thoughts? Uh, honestly... We could take all the money. Uh, we don't really need it. Uh, we don't have any unrest either. So I think we just, you know, take the middle road here. We don't need to give it all to the needy. But uh, let's just give it a nice little take the middle road. And here we go. The Battle of the Ages. Can the Shogun take on the Prince of Wales, the Africa, the Hannibal, the Vengeance, the Blenheim, the Fox, the Arethusa, the Isis. <gasps> I cannot believe this. They're, they, the Spartan, the Dartmouth. We've got all the things. We must, we must stop them. I mean, they've got Isis on their side and Spartan. Like, I'm sorry. I, I will not let this stand. We must sink them, Shogun. It is up to you. You are the only thing that stands between the British greedy monarch and our demise we will not accept anything less than absolute victory at this point midnight good to see you per michael welcome scott as well eris uh v-man cosmo with a k good to see you guys iron man i think i already called you out but th thank you all for joining us welcome 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 we are, we are about to showcase the Shogun in all its glory. Look at all those 14-inch guns. This is the stuff that dreams or nightmares are made of. One lone ship stands between the entirety of the British Navy and certain defeat. Can the Shogun stand up to the entirety of the British naval force? That is the question I am asking it. It's a difficult mission, but one I have all confidence it can pull off. I think we're officially past the Fuso class with this particular design. <laughs> We've got 12, 12 14 inch guns. That's two more than the Fuso class. All right, the enemy has been spotted. We got to remember they do have the ability to launch torpedoes from further out now, so we got to keep that into consideration. 
Open up the angle, bring all firepower to bear. Take up a kiting position. Focus on the first ship. We need a united focus of one ship at a time, boys. It's the only way that we pull this off. There we go. Good, good salvo. We are taking some hits here, as expected. There's a lot of firepower against us. One down. Focus the next battleship, please. We will be the unrelenting force our homeland depends on. Down goes the second battleship. Focus the third battleship, please. Also, secondaries, please focus that little turd burglar. He's too close. Massive hits and flooding. Let's go. The Hannibal is not long for this world if we keep that kind of effective firepower. Swing and a miss that time. Secondaries chipping away at the little turd burglar. Swing and a miss at the battleship. The light cruiser has abandoned its post. Switch target to the destroyer, please. Murder with utmost haste. Massive hits. That destroyer will not last long at this pace. Down he goes. Action. Okay, enemy is concealed in the smoke currently. All right, start to start to turn back towards the bad guys here. Make our turn to starboard. Smoke screens becoming a problem. Focus that battleship with everything you got. Take them down as quickly as possible. Turn out. Getting a little too close for my comfort. Huge hit on the wrong target, but we'll take it. Take, take it damage, come on now. Focus that man down. Thank you. Focus that man down. Down he goes. All right. Now I will let you choose your own targets. But let's wrap this battle up. All four battleships have been sunk. Heavy cruisers are getting low on ammo, so that's beautiful. Good 
hits. Alright, I lied. I'm gonna start making you choose. I'm gonna choose your targets for you. You're too inconsistent. Go to the mercy. I am afraid that he is launching torpedoes, so we are going to change course. Down he goes. Switch to the Spartan. You will meet a fate similar to that of which your namesake. That's the initial threat gone. Go ahead, focus down the fox, please. Unrelenting firepower. That is how we will defeat the never-ending flood. He launched a torp! Okay, he's way off mark. Never mind. He's really bad at launching torps. We good. Huge hits. Switch targets to the Blenheim. We know he's in range because the other guy wasn't even this close, so... Just launched. Turn the corner. Anticipating torpedoes. We got torps coming from the back. Torps. Straighten out the rudder. Straighten out the rudder. Oh, this is bad. We gotta spread off both sides of the ship. They are cross torping the crap out of us. Slow down. Slow down. What a cross torp that was trying to be! Thank God for the command telling him to slow down. That was that was rough. Torp beats on point, baby. <laughs> the commander of the Shogun should be accommodated for that one. What up, ships? Go boom! Welcome. Reed, welcome to the stream. The new battleship is doing absolutely fantastically on all fronts. Secondaries are absolutely annihilating, but the uh, main guns are doing what they're supposed to do as well. And that's the battle, folks. We took some hits, but uh, overall... What up, Tree Man? Welcome to the stream. We did lose 114 crew. But we sank all 13 ships, including four battleships, for a total victory point of 49,000 versus 141. How much damage was that? 151,000 damage by the Shogun. Well done. Well done. Down goes that fleet. Welcome. Yeah, hit the brakes and they'll fly right by. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Tarpeets! Dude, that was a hell of a cross torp. Like, I was like, man, at first I was like, oh, they're bad at, at torping. I'm like, oh, I can just turn away, get skinny. And then I saw the torps coming from the light cruisers, the torp coming from the heavy cruisers. I put two and two together in my head and I'm like, hold on. These look very, very accurate. I better slow down. And sure enough, woo, right down the bow. It's a good thing we didn't add that extra, uh, extra width to the ship, you know? We got to keep her skinny for a reason. <laughs> I think the uh, I think the Shogun is going to be just fine, guys. Uh, she's a beast. Oh God, this is what we didn't want. But uh, the British have called our bluff. They said if you want to blockade our passageway, we are going to try to pr protect our rights. We've got the bulwark, the Canada, the Triumph, the Venerable, the Majestic, the Barfleur, the Roxburgh, or Bruh, the Roxburgh, the Crescent. The Southampton, 
the Eclipse, the High Flyer, the Sapphire, and a handful of uh, nobodies to come after... Wait, what? What is the name of this? Hold, hold that thought. The Cockatrice. Sounds like a type of bird mixed with something. Who knows? Anyway, <laughs> I've heard of a cockatoo. I've never heard of a cockatrice. I'm assuming it's one better. Stupid joke. Anyway, <laughs> uh, what are these battleships? 9.3 inch guns. These are glorified heavy cruisers. Uh, I feel confident. Th okay. Okay, I actually got to be a little careful here. We don't have trained crews, right? Like our, our crews are trained. So we got to be careful. We already know that our guns can outmatch these guys, but they have the hit point advantage. It is a six versus five. So, the question becomes, do we take this fight, or do we withdraw, or try to withdraw, and uh, send the Shogun down to deal with the problem? I honestly think, with the fact that there are five of these battleships and five of our cruisers, we already know that they have the survivability advantage. Um... I mean, they have 12 9-inch guns on each one of these as well. We have 6 10-inch guns on each one of these. does not take a genius to figure out the fact that we are outgunned. Not to mention the fact they have heavy cruisers that have 10-inch guns. They have light cruisers that have 6-inch guns. Uh, yeah, I think we need to withdraw here if we can. Withdraw! I refuse to believe it. Withdraw! Keep trying. <laughs> Please? Hey! We got away. I know it's a cheesy way to do it, but I'm not losing my, my heavy cruisers to that fleet. I will pull them back. They called my bluff. Uh, I pulled them back, and I will send them, you know, up here. Maybe they can engage this fleet and my Shogun can come down and defend this passageway. That seems, you know, like the right decision. All right, naval invasion down here. We have three battleships and three battleships in a divisions. We are going to need only 1,972 tons, so we'll take this no time at all. Uh, I would also like to try to grab the next section, which is just uh, Sarawak. So we, we will do that next turn. Uh, for the moment, we will uh, next turn it. Let's go. A cockatrice is a bird of legend that could turn you into stone if you looked into its eyes. Interesting. I've never heard of it. I like I like me some good old-fashioned uh, mythology, so I'll have to look that one up. But nice. But I was at least correct in the fact that it started with cock, so it was probably a bird, right? Uh, let's see. Fat Weed, how's it going? Pride of the Samurai, no surrender, full send. Exactly. Well, the, 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 the cruisers, I need to stick around a little bit. They're, they're kind of my, my reactionary force. I don't want to throw them away at a fleet of battleships that outgun them by a bunch. Like, if it was one or two battleships, I'll take that fight. If it's five battleships plus heavy cruisers plus light cruisers, let's leave that for the battleships to decide. <laughs> Uh, let's see. American Made, what up? Is this the complaint department for World of Warships Legends? Absolutely. Why not combine those fleets? Which ones? Which one are we trying to combine? The cruisers and the battleship up here? The Shogun with the cruisers? That's not a bad idea. Um, but I do like having the ability to have them in separate locations. Because you're not always going to be that hopelessly outmatched by a fleet, right? Like, those those heavy cruisers are more than capable of taking on a smaller force. I just don't want to send them into battle against overwhelming odds. Uh, because they lack the survivability of our battleships, you know what I mean? Not saying they couldn't do it. I'm saying that I don't want to take the chance of losing an entire fleet of good sailors.
But welcome to the stream, everybody. I'm glad to see you guys are joining me once again for another Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts stream. Uh, we will be here for at least the next couple of hours. You guys know me. Usually about four hours, sometimes longer, sometimes a little shorter, but in the neighborhood. Depending on how crazy everything... <gasps> Soviet Union is accusing us of war crimes! Victims among civilians are inevitable during war. Suck it. Britain's head of admiralty... Henry Field is suddenly replaced by Roger Thesiger. Thesiger. The Siger. Thesiger. Close enough. There we go. It worked out as intended. Shogun is not afraid to engage this fleet. Let's go. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Got back from the gym. It was a nice bench night tonight. We did some incline bench on the Smith machine. We did some uh, incline shoulder press. We did a uh, little bit of tricep push downs, and then we finished up with some uh, some bicep curls on the on the bicep curl machine. Uh, really punished our biceps, but but yeah, our chest, all all the chest tonight. Some tricep and bicep. Just a good old-fashioned upper body. We're working out at the gym doing li weightlifting four days a week. And we're doing cardio at least one day a week on top of that. Sometimes I do a little bit of cardio here at the house as well. I have my own treadmill. But, uh, but yeah, so we're, get, we're trying to get back into it. I kind of let myself, in terms of my diet, I let my diet lax a little too long. And I gained a whole bunch of weight. I was back up to 255 pounds. So I'm trying to shed some of that weight again while maintaining my strength. So I should look better this time when I get back down to 230 than I was the last time I was at 230. And I'm gonna keep going this time. So I wanna try to get down to about 200 pounds. We'll see if that works out. If I get down to 212 or 200 pounds, the pictures that you guys will see of me, holy mother of God, I will be jacked. I may not be the strongest person in the world, but I got a decent amount of muscle on me. And if I ever got down to 200 pounds, I would be pretty, pretty insane looking. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Not going to lie. Either way, we have already spotted the large enemy fleet. And uh, the Shogun is preparing to open up. So let's get this party started. Guten Tag. Welcome. We are fighting against the mighty Royal Navy of the Great British Empire. What up, Lysior? Uh, my bench PR... I just did recently, uh, if you follow my, my fitness channel at all, uh, my bench PR currently is only 180 pounds, but uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Like, I've only been lifting for about a year, uh, just over a year now. I started in December or November of last year, so I've been lifting for a little over a year at this point. So I'm pretty happy with my progress in the year, especially when you consider other variables. Like the fact that I'm, I'm on estrogen and all that, which we don't get into too much. But but I'm pretty happy with my progress over the past year. From a weightlifting standpoint. First hits look beautiful. Let's keep it going. Alright. Focus the battleships, please. We know their weakness is accuracy at range, so we will maintain range and maintain all the firepower on each ship individually. Stop firing at other ships. When I tell you to fire at a ship, you fire at the ship. More good salvo should finish off the first battleship. Alright, let's 
start turning in a little bit here. Not a lot. Just enough to open up the angles again. Switch targets to the Majestic, please. We're using semi-armor piercing. We may end up having to switch that semi-armor piercing out. But uh, so far, it's doing okay. Maybe go with, like, semi-ballistic. Things are starting to become more armored. There we go. That's what we want. As long as we don't start overpinning, I'm fine. I just don't like overpins. Overpins reduces my effectiveness. Switch targets to the Triumph. These little turds keep switching back to try to like hide from us after we beat their ass. So I wanna, I wanna make sure that they're as ineffective as possible. Good hits. All right, start turning in a little bit. Got their fleet on the ropes here. We do not relent. Keep it going. Down goes a destroyer and a and a battleship. Where's the other two battleships? Torp boats go down. Fire's going, boys. There's a dead torpo. Fire at the Roxborough here. Also, I didn't notice that this little turret's here. Why are we shooting HG? Can we please shoot armor piercing out of these guns? Especially at cruisers. There we go. Target the venerable, please. I feel like there were a lot more battleships than the game let on. It said there were four. I feel like there were definitely more than four battleships here. Or was it five? Maybe it was five battleships. Either way, it definitely feels like there are more than that. So it's a good thing we didn't let our heavy cruisers take on this fleet. I have no idea where those shots are going. Alright, go back to... Target the bul bulwark, please. That was quick. Target the venerable again. We are the fire breathing dragon that the British feared. Target the battleships, please. Stay on point. Don't get complacent. Secondaries, go ahead. Target the little stuff. Don't let them get all comfortable over there. Okay. Go ahead and target the 
this whole turret before he gets into range to dwarf us. That'll do. That ought to slow him down. Honestly, I'm impressed he didn't die. Now he's dead. Hey, that was the cockatrice! Alright. Main guns target that guy, please. Okay. Are there any more battleships out there? I think there's one more battleship, but I can't really select them at the moment. We'll hold for now. Focus the guys in the front, please. The guys at range are not a threat. The ones that are up, up close and personal are torpedo problems. So let's get rid of them. Also, fire AP once in a while, please. We have SAP, for the love of God. There you go. See what happens when you fire AP? Good Lord. What a conundrum. You ever feel like the battleships are hiding behind the other, like, sinking battleships? Like, I gotta swear there was a battleship here, but apparently I was wrong. They're all dead. They're all dead. Dude, these secondaries versus the riprap. Holy God. I mean, the primaries are pretty good, too, but those secondaries just shred these guys. That is a, a lot of firepower. Also, uh, unforeseen, unforeseen threat off the starboard bow. Well done. <laughs> Let's... Let's not let somebody sneak up on us. I thought he was dead, so I was like, I'm just getting closer and closer to a dead man. No, he was still alive. The little turd burglar was thinking about torping us. I think the Shogun's pretty darn good at what it's supposed to do. Okay, that the Southampton surrendered due to high casualty. We killed his crew before we killed his boat. That's crazy. Dude, this ship is a monster. Like, it's just death? What are you supposed to do against it? Hey, he punched a hole in us. Make him pay. That'll do. <laughs> And the flooding's under control. <laughs> You're sitting at 2.30 at the moment. It's all bacon. Dude, mine was ice cream, man. I gained so much weight because I was literally eating a tub of ice cream every day. That's like 2,100 calories right there. I don't care how much you work out. That's hard to overcome. But uh, we lose 82 crew in this fight, so even better than the last fight. They lose 11,800 men. We sank 21 vessels, including five battleships, three heavy cruisers, four light cruisers, five destroyers, and four torpedo boats. How much damage was that? Another 222,000 damage done by the Shogun. The Shogun does not have a sister ship. She was a one of, a, a one of design. She does not have a, si a sister. 
but she is very, very effective. <laughs> what up, Stacks? How's it going? Uh, Zachary Colley, good to see you. The, the show gonna sh uh, send, good lord, sunk more ships than the Bikini Atoll experiments. Rough. Uh, it's all AI, V-Man. It's all AI, my guy. All right, and the British thought they could be sneaky. They have sent a force behind our back to attack our kaijus. Oh, they have picked a fight with, with beasts of which they have no idea what they are capable of. They think that they can just stroll up on us and attack our kaijus? Do you know why they are called kaiju? Huh? Sure, they may be an older design, but they are experienced. Oh, God. Sounds like a freaking. Even the gods are upset that they attacked our kaijus. Listen to it. Can you hear? The gods are angry. The kaijus will not be denied. No, I have other ships. But my other ships are currently engaged. Like I said, they're trying to take uh, naval invasions on all of Borneo currently. That's what we're trying to do. And the British are not happy about it. So they're sending their entire fleet to us. And uh, one by one, we are annihilating. Oh my god, they have a new design of a battleship. I did not see this coming. Alright, they have five of whatever this is. I need to take a look at this thing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's their older design. But oh my god, I can't see crap. But the enemy was spotted to the southwest. Ghidorah, lead the way. Kaiju, Gojira. All three of you will engage the enemy, no matter the weather. Speed up time, please. The big threat here is going to be torpedoes due to the limited visibility. But fortunately, these are much smaller battleships that are much more agile. So we should be able to hopefully avoid torpedoes. Trent the Truth, welcome. Appreciate you, my dude. Enemy spotted off the starboard side. We will hunt them and destroy them. We're being fired upon and I cannot see them. I don't like this. Oh, this is terrifying. I ain't gonna lie. But we've already landed massive hits and down he goes. Okay, the enemy has shown themselves. Okay, this is still the same battleship. Okay, it just looked different. Focus the battleships, please. Oh, we just took a nasty 9.4 inch hit. Remember, these older designs aren't as well protected as our newer one. So we gotta be careful. Don't wanna be taking too many hits. Something just died due to extensive fire, so that's good news. We also are taking 10 inch hits from the heavy cruisers. Down goes the howl. Focus down the next one, please. 
sooner we get rid of the majority of these guns, the better. Oh, we are taking a beating, though. Is this the end of the kaijus? Kaiju is falling back. Fortunately, it turned away. Why are we shooting nothing but HE? Please load up some armor piercing. For the love of God. Look how much damage you can do with AP! God darn it! Relying too heavily on HE, guys. Now look at it. We're just absolutely annihilating the revenge. Down goes the revenge. Focus. Down goes the Collingwood. Huge. Kaiju, stay in line, baby. Boat. I know this is hard to see, but I can't see much better than you guys can. I apologize. Weather is a thing in the game. Still taking some nasty hits on Kaiju. Not a big fan of that, to be honest. we can get rid of these battleships, we'll start focusing the heavy cruisers down. Massive hits, though. These guns are just as unreal. These may only be 13-inch guns, but that doesn't make them any less dangerous. They are nasty guns. We have a lot of secondaries and a lot of primaries, and down goes the Vincent. Down goes the Canopus. Down goes the Destroyers, getting a little too close. How close are these guys? Go ahead and target them with secondaries, please. Alright, go ahead and detach, Kaiju. I need you to uh, be your own be your own man here. You're getting a little a little scary here. Getting outrun by our own our own battleships, so Kaiju's gonna be in a world of trouble if he's not careful. I want you to follow. But I want you to focus on taking out the destroyers that are close to you.
Turn out, turn out, turn out. Torpedo in the water. Oh, God. Slow down. Oh, we're gonna take a torp. I didn't see it. This is the theory. This was what I was afraid of. Boys. Come about. We gotta protect. Oh, God. More torps. Kaiju, no! Right up the prop shaft. That's a terrible name for a destroyer. I just would like to reiterate at this point that I do not name the enemy ships. boys. Get that destroyer off the backside of Kaiju, please. Kaiju, how you doing? I'm trying to get Kaiju out of here, but they just keep attacking it. Kaiju, give me everything you got. Get out of there. This speaks to the survivability of our battleships, though. I'll give it that. This is an older design, and we're still absolutely cleaning house and taking a an absolute pounding in the process, even with torpedoes. And we're still in the fight. We gotta try to double back and protect uh, Kaiju here, if we can. I gotta get rid of these turrets first. get rid of the lurcher that'd be great 
Looks like he's struggling to stay afloat. Beautiful. It was far from a perfect battle. But in the end, my kaiju stand victorious. And let that be a lesson to you. Just because they look appetizing does not mean that you will get away with attacking them. 445 good sailors lost on our side, but they lost almost 12,000. We sank another 27 ships, another 64,000 victory points. Five more battleships gone, seven more heavy cruisers gone, three light cruisers, 10 destroyers, and two torpedo boats. Kaiju put up 62,000. Ghidorah, 104,000. Gojira, another 95,000. I do want to kind of come up with a new, uh, a new battleship design where we feature secondaries for the most part. Uh, I, I think that would be a lot of fun. Just put like some battleship guns, uh, like the primaries up on a, a taller barbette and then just litter the deck full of secondaries. I thought that, I think that would be kind of fun. We haven't done something like that yet in this campaign. But they are gone. Also, like I said, I do not get to name these ships, so I know what this means. It's not meant in a derogatory sense, but it is it is definitely not ideal for a name for a ship. Oh my god. And now the Royal Navy is just throwing everything they have at us. They're like, we refuse to give up our territory without a fight. So they are attacking not just our, our uh, older fleet, but they're attacking our... Not modern, but our slightly older fleet of the Emperor's Fist, the Suzanu, and the Amagi. These three are much more capable than the uh, the Kaijus, and so they are going to absolutely annihilate this fleet. So here we go again. Wasn't it somebody? Somebody was literally just asking if we had more than one boat, and uh, so this this should answer that question. <laughs> Right up the prop shaft, you're crying. I know, right? Like, straight up. You know what I'm talking about. That must be the first time you've heard it. Th Dustin Thatcher coming up with the $2 when we get in a yabby. Uh, we're a ways off before that happens, unfortunately. But soon enough. Soon enough. We're up to 14-inch guns now, so we're getting there. Slowly. Now, these guys have been in fights. As you can see, they, they, they've taken some hits. We've got veteran crews. Already engaging the enemy at frickin' 18 kilometers, though. That's what we're talking about. Speed up time. Slow down. Get our cruise speed bonus going. We have already hit the enemy at 18 kilometers. you love to see it. It was a ricochet, but it's still a hit. See? Yeah, basically, they're trying to scrap their fleet, and we're doing a really good job of making sure of it. <laughs> Why spend the time taking a part of ship and use and, and keeping the raw materials and money when you can just send it against the Japanese? We'll send them to the bottom real quick. Think of how much the fishing population will benefit from all the new artificial reefs. Like I, I think it's a uh, very, uh, you know, cordial thing to do. They're starting to fire back at us. I do not approve. Go ahead and turn out, sunshine. Start the kiting. You guys know the deal. Where are the battleships? 
Focus the first man, please. Are these the same old battleships? Yep. Oh my god. Just absolute decimation. What happens when you pick a fight with the Japanese Navy? At this point, there's really only a couple of countries that haven't picked a fight with the Japanese Navy, and that's the United States and Germany. And Germany's getting real close to it, just due to the fact that they have stopped being our ally multiple times and screwed us over multiple times when we needed them most. So we will be taking territory from Germany soon enough. But we gotta clean up all the, all the British first. The French are another one. French, we haven't actually fought yet. Down goes the battleship victorious. Now time for the Agincourt. Dude, when you have an advantage in expertise, as well as like range and accuracy, it's hard for the enemy to overcome that. What we lack in quantity, we make up for in quality. Never forget this. This is a lesson the British Navy will never forget. Long gone are the days of building the most amount of ships. And today we usher in putting all our money in one basket because there are no carriers. So, you know, what's the worst that could happen? Also, little turd burglar getting a little too close. Turn our secondaries on that little bastard. Just so accurate. Reed, welcome. The Shogun is in fact still still sailing, Kyle. Uh, you missed a couple of big fights with the Shogun right at the beginning of the stream, so if you want to rewind and, and check those out, it was pretty awesome. Definitely, definitely still sailing. And like I said, in this universe, there are there is no such thing as carriers, right? So the, the enemy has to come up, or design a way to defeat our super ships, the old fashioned way. Shoot the Adelaide with the secondaries, please. Get rid of that battleship. That should do it. That was the battleship so Royal Sovereign. Alright. Target the guys closest to us. With all firepower. Now's where we start nickel and diamond these guys.
ahead and fire at the next guy. Oh god, the weather changed. It's alright though, we're fine. The enemy might be struggling to hit us even more, but we'll be okay. I mean, if we can have a full-scale naval battle in the middle of a freaking storm with our older ships, these ships will be just fine. We killed Australia and the Sentinel. Might have been a little overkill, if I'm being 100%. Probably didn't need to shoot the, the main guns at him, but I'd rather overkill than underkill, you know? See here, I don't like leaving people with just enough. I know it's a crazy concept. What up, Daniel? Welcome to the stream. Jacob? There's an Ohio meme song? That's a thing? And then there was one. And uh, sadly, this was not his day. Some say the Royal Navy will never financially recover from the beating that the Japanese is giving it. Like, I don't know how many ships we've just sunk in the past, like, 20 minutes, but it's the majority of the, the, the British fleet at this point, I think. Another uh, 50 crew members were lost on our side, but another almost 12,000 were lost on the enemy side. Four battleships, five heavy cruisers, three light cruisers, one destroyer, and one torp boat. 52,000 victory points earned versus 47. 53,000 damage by Emperor's Fist, 66,000 damage by the Amagi, 37,000 by the Suzanu. Welcome, Jessica. Appreciate you dropping in as well. Glad you enjoy the ringtone. It will get you some looks in the in the grocery store too. It's nothing like standing in line in a crowded like grocery store or something, and you're waiting to get up to the register, and then your phone rings, and all you hear is, "Hello, sunshine, answer the phone." Wait for it. Pow! <laughs> over and over again. It's great. It's called swag like Ohio. I I might have to uh. I'd have to w listen to that. Ohio is a mystical place. When you're here, it's just another place. From the outside, it's just craziness. It's, it is literally the Florida of the North. All right, so we are losing transports in the Red Sea and in the Southeast Asia, so we're going to have to get on that. But uh, slowly over time, we are actually destroying the British Navy's a capability to uh, stop us. So these guys are actually trying to push into our territory, uh, but we grab this in the next turn. So that's fine. From a politics standpoint, now we will go ahead and initiate our naval invasion of Sarawak. Financially, we are losing a little bit of money, um, but we've got plenty of money, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm not sure which port it's going to be, but uh, next month we finish grabbing Brunei, so then we'll just move these guys over. Uh, we've got our single battleship here. Where are you headed? You're headed to Southeast Asia. How did they get through? Well, nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. Just got to wait. 
Uh, you guys, go ahead and uh, move up a little further. I want you to try to attack that fleet if you can. That's a single battle sheet. You can definitely take that in a fight. I'm not too worried about it. Other than that, um, yes, yes. We have some new armor on the way. Corrupt 3 will be done in 15 months. How much is it if we just max out this? Oh, that's a lot of money to lose. I mean, we... See, that's 50 million per turn. We don't want to lose that much. Maybe we go to like 90%. Yeah, that seems a little better. We can we can handle 20 million per, per month. That's fine. All right. Still can't build submarines, however. Um, that did drop another month off of the Corrupt 3, so that's good. Uh, what do we got in explosives coming up? We have TNT 2. Let's go. Oh, we're, we're going to be even more powerful, boys. It's, it's, it's getting there. It's really, it's really starting to cook up. Not only do we have submarines coming real soon, but we're getting TNT probably soon enough. We'll have some, like, auto-loading turrets. It's going to be... It, we're, we're going to be amazing. As if we're not already just absolutely annihilating. But look at the war score between us and the British. The British started out by absolutely... Remember, the British absolutely wiped out our fleet that was trying to uh, do the conquest of Egypt over here. And uh, they thought they were, you know, really, really happy with themselves, right? And ever since, they have been on their back heels getting their butts stomped into the mud. Rightfully so. So, next turn. Brunei should be ours. So now we figure out which port the uh, naval invasion of this. Oh, that's perfect. We already got a ship in there. Beautiful. Love to see it. What up, Alex? Should build a Japanese version of the Atlantico, but with more secondaries. Oh, I plan on building a secondary ship in the very near future. I really do. Like, I, I want to build something so monstrosity, like, so ridiculous, and actually use it in a fight. Because usually we don't get to build those kind of meme ships until very late. Uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire, sorry, we're not, we're not helping you. Uh, we have a couple of transports getting sunk, unfortunately. Nothing I can do about that. Just unlocked advanced battleship funnels. That's always nice. All right. Where's our territory? We already took... Wait, what? Why did that drop? I am so confused. Oh! <gasps> Dang it! Get over here. I think I know what it was. They moved a fleet in right under our nose and fucked up our whole plan. Remember that fleet that was over here last turn? Then we're like, how did he get past us? Yeah, that's him. I think. Actually, this is very similar. I don't know. But either way, this guy moved in right under our nose and is fucking up our plans. We're not going to stand for it. All oh, these guys ran away. Shocker. Get up in there. Force that ship out of its port. Uh, we are about to lose Burma. This is real unfortunate. I mean, we can retake it. It's not that big a deal. It's just annoying more than anything. Research. Everything's still going as planned. Yeah, the kaiju got sent out, and that fucked up our plan, too, because it, it took away from the tonnage needed. That's all right. We'll grab it. We'll grab it back. It'll be okay. Next turn.
Germany in 1902, and you have submarines and 536,000 ton dreadnought, or 536,000 ton dreadnoughts. Nice. Yeah, we haven't actually touched our research. We've been letting the AI do the research on its own. So, okay, here we go. The Shogun has shown up and is uh, about to influence the battle once again. So we have a battle cruiser Zealous with 11 and a half inch guns. We have the battleships, which we already know are pretty much hot garbage. And a whole bunch of little riffraff that we're going to have to take out. So let's do it. Welcome back, Tree Man. I appreciate everybody dropping in, as always. Thank you guys so much. Uh, don't forget to punch that like button if you really enjoy these streams. I will try to do these more often. We've been we've been trying to get into doing these streams multiple times a week now because they are getting more popular. So I appreciate each one of you guys uh, liking the videos, showing up, having a good time in chat. I appreciate you guys. All right, Shogun, do what you do best. Murder everything. Hey, look, they've already spotted us. Shocker. Enemy is spotted to the southwest. Slight turn to port. Speed up time. Prepare to engage the enemy in naval combat. You can definitely see we've... we've generally showed the right side of the ship the starboard side of the ship to the enemy because there's nothing on the nothing on the port side of the ship but the right side has been uh hit a few times all right let's go ahead and slow down now that we've caught up to them initiate our turn fire armor piercing for the love of god you are allowed to use it These are the battleships, right? Focus those turns down. Go ahead and turn out. Focus the battleship with all guns. his effectiveness in fighting back, the better. Or just outright kill him. That works too. Target the second battleship. We can go ahead and start targeting uh, this little riff rack with secondaries. I do believe I told you to target that guy. become a problem if we're not careful. Send the little mermaid where she belongs. Under the sea. Under the sea. <laughs> Is the Akuma class built yet? Uh, I don't think so. I'll have to check. Get rid 
of the battle cruiser and then deal with all the riffraff. The sooner we get rid of the big guns, the better. You can open up on both sides of the ship, boys. Let the guns sing. All right, go ahead and finish this guy off. He's the biggest threat at the moment. We're gonna turn away, speed up to try to gain a little bit of uh, extra distance just in case. The sooner we get rid of this little turd, the better. He's the one in attack position. Like a moth through the flame, or like a moth to the flame. Burnt by the fire. My love is blind, can you f see my desire? That's the way love goes. Alright, main gun's there, secondaries focus this. Come on, fire the guns, guys. Get rid of that light cruiser. Put them in the woods. Yep. Alright. Let's make a turn turn to port here. Get the guns to bear on the little turd burglars. They want a chase? Let's give them a chase. Auto, please. You can actually use AP or a HE here. Not that the secondaries won't be enough. These guys can't really stand up to our secondary very much. Remember, these are six inch secondaries. This would be like having a Worcester shooting at a destroyer at this range. I wonder if loading SAP secondaries I guess we'll never know. The world may never know because we just wiped it. Oh my god! Fire the guns! AP only! Lord have mercy! Let Thank you. Letting them get way too close. Oh, those are only 7 inch main guns. Those aren't that scary. guns. If we get torpedoed because of this, I'll be a little upset. Fire the guns! Thank you. Meanwhile, the secondaries just punched the Worcester. Hey, speaking of the Worcester, <laughs> what are the odds of that? What up, Aaron? Welcome to the stream. Liam? Has the heat stroke class been in any battles yet? Uh, they have not. I have, well, they've tried, but I've withdrew them each time because each time they have been up against insurmountable odds by ships of their survivability. So uh, while they have great main guns, I, I would much rather them survive. But another 6,000 sailors for the British sank. 154s for us. 
19 ships gone, another 28,000 victory points, and the Shogun has racked up another 195,000 damage. Good lord. The Shogun is a monster. What happened to American Truck Simulator? I just got bored with it after a while. What up, cuz? Welcome to the stream. Drift King Cody, good to see you as well. Appreciate you dropping in. And we have another fight, only this time we have a merged fleet of the Gojira, the Ghidorah, the Amagi, the Suzunu, and the Emperor's Fist. They couldn't take them on as separate fleets, and now they want to fight them all at the same time. I wonder how that'll go. What up, Gavin? Just got the Amalfi in your first game with it. No upgrades, just a level one camo. Had the most fun I've had in a long time. I, there you go, man. I told you, the Italian cruisers are actually a lot of fun, man. They really are. You just got to be careful. But they are fun. And that SAP, if you're using SAP, that SAP slaps if you know how to aim it. All right, we've got all of them together for a night battle. I apologize to you guys, because I know this will be dark as crap. Enemies spotted to the southwest. We're going to make a turn to port, speed up time, and prepare to engage. We are a little bit slow, but we'll be fine. They may be numerous in numbers, but uh, in firepower, they are hopelessly outclassed. And they're about to find out real soon. Yeah, you'd be surprised how many people give a broadside to uh, cruisers, man. If you know how to use AP in a cruiser, you're going to absolutely feast on broadsides. Even battleships. I hear, I hear something out in this direction. Oh, there they are. First kills. Let's just turn this off and enjoy a good old fashioned night battle, shall we? I can't see crap. Beautiful thing, isn't it? The only thing that would make this battle even better is if we had star shells in the game. Where it automatically would illuminate like certain areas of it. Like you'd have a star shell here or over here or whatever. Just lighting up the water a little bit.
Down goes the Cornwallis. Down goes the Kent. Down goes the New Zealand. This is a lot of very experienced, angry sailors from the Japanese Empire. It is a bad combination for the British. A lot of very angry, experienced Japanese sailors with overwhelming firepower at their disposal. <laughs> Something so satisfying about watching flash fires in this game. And that's what happens when your smoke runs out. You can hide, but you damn sure can't run. a resounding victory for the Empire of Japan once again. 17 crew members lost in total versus 9,500. 18 more vessels sent to the bottom. Another 48,000 victory points. They gained 20. Emperor's Fist with 18,000. Gojira with 53,000. Ghidorah with 61,000. Amagi with 23,000. And Suzanu with 56,000. Well done. Well done. Boy, the, uh, the Japanese seem to be very, very good at this whole naval thing. <laughs> that, that is what you call a sound beating indeed, because... Turns out, if you can't beat them as separate fleets, and then you attack them all at the same time, it's worse, somehow. I would have never guessed that. <laughs> I would have never guessed it. Yep, that's uh that's that's a thing that did exist. Do we are losing transports everywhere in the Bay of Bengal and the Oceania Southeast Asia, the Red Sea. Like we're losing a lot of transports, which is a little terrifying. All right, one more month, we should have that. 
and this. So we should get both of these territories next month. And then we will go for Borneo next. Next turn. We're going to have to do a uh, British check. We'll, we'll do a fleet check for the British on this turn. Remember, over 300, over 300 ships initially at the start of the war for them. Let's see how many they're down to now. They had like 260 or something like that at the beginning of this stream alone. They got to be getting close to running out of ships at this point. Like we've been sinking so many ships, like 20 at a time. Some more than that. Like you run out of ships real quick at that pace. Like, I'm no expert, but if you're losing 20 ships of battle and you've got 300 ships to start with, that doesn't bode well for your, your navy. Aaron says uh, 100 left or less. Okay. We'll have to check because we, we've put a beating on them, that's for sure. They haven't they haven't had a beating like this since the, uh, the Scottish and the uh, Irish got a hold of them. And this is probably worse than that by a margin. Quite a bit. I mean, we're over half a million victory points. We can basically, if we end this war, the amount of money and or territory that we could take off of them would be insane. I have never had this many victory points, I don't think, against a single, uh, a single country. This has been insane. And they have not gained any since they wiped out our, our heavy cruisers at the beginning of the war. Not really, anyway. Like, nothing meaningful. Most of their points that they've gained have been through uh, taking out transports. Which, don't get me wrong, the transports are going to take time to recover from. But, they can only keep this up for so long. Like, we are taking their territory. We are sinking their ships. They are not going to be able to continue to assault our transports for much longer. Hey, look, they've went through another head of Admiralty. Shocker. And they're taking damage from our mines, which is hilarious. Uh, we are still losing some transports, though, but we can we can deal with it. Okay, we have gained both of those territories. Let's move this fleet around. Uh, I'm not sure which port it'll be. It'll either be this one or this one. I'm going to assume it's this one. And politics. Naval invasion. Oh, we got to move around first. That's unfortunate. You'd think this would be close enough. Pontinat. Um, politics. Yeah, that's not enough. Okay. We just, oh, that's not us. That's them. We're over here. That makes more sense. Okay. Well, this guy isn't really going to do much of anything. We have a resounding, uh, you know, power projection win here, but they still have quite a bit of power projection in the neighborhood. I ain't going to lie. All right, let's, let's look at how many ships they got. They are down to 128 ships. From 300. We have cut two-thirds of their navy in half. Like, gone. Two-thirds of their navy is gone. Just because of one war. Two-thirds. I'm no politician, but that's enough to win a vote in the sentence. Or, in the Senate. Next! Uh, yeah, the, the Italians are still at war with us just because the, uh, Russians appear to have stopped being at war with us. Or no, they've changed their flag again. So the Russians are still at war with us. I do need to check up on the territorial push in the north. We just unlocked TNT too. That's beautiful. Uh, Canada would like a Susanoo class battleship. I bet you would. Let's look up here. How's this going? Uh, we're getting pushed back again. God dang it. That's annoying. Uh, 
Oh, that's real annoying. Especially considering we've got so much territory around that. I need this back. Or I need this territory. We should have taken it by ourselves. like Just like we should have taken this, but Germany ended up taking that. Should be taking this, but our government just refuses. It's all right, though. We're getting there. Slowly, but we, but surely, we will get there. Okay, we have moved around, so let's go ahead and grab Naval Invasion. Borneo. $3 billion. $1.9 billion. $1.4 billion. Fair enough. We will definitely be looking into uh, grabbing that soon enough as well. As well as Tasmania. We're coming, Australia. Just give us time. Dude, the British had so much, so much territory. They still do. Like, we're, we're still struggling here. They're still pushing through over here. Our ability to protect our transports is, is killing us. Or should I say our inability to protect our transports is killing us. Because our army, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, our army logistics is at 30%. Their army logistics, despite us taking out their entire god darn thing, is at 100% still. We're still going, though. Keeping it going. Alright, armor quality is still coming up. So we're good there. Watch. Because we're here, I almost guarantee that the little naval invasion will pop up over here at Pontian uh yeah, Pontianc or Pontianac. Pontianac? Is that I Pont yeah. Whatever it is. Next Oi! Leave Australia alone. Yeah, I need those subs a ASAP so that I have some sort of force protection. Some like mass produced force projection to protect all of our ports cheap self-sustaining defense what up Thor welcome to the stream glad you enjoyed my dude I, I've been trying to stream this more I ain't gonna lie I've been enjoying this campaign this has been a fun one it was a rough first episode, but after that, man, we have really hit our stride and just dominated this campaign. And we are slowly but surely accomplishing our goal of, of taking everything of Asia. Like, just straight up all of Asia. I want to control the entire Eastern Hemisphere <laughs> at some point. Like, that that's where we're going. If we can grab all of the Eastern Hemisphere, I'll be happy. Or as much of it as I can grab with the Navy anyway. Told you. What did I tell you? I knew it was going to pop up over there. You can see the circle already, already here. I wish I had preemptively done that. Like I should have known that that's where it'd be and just sent these guys over there. All right, we get it. Build your ships so we can get on to the next month. Good Lord. Come on, game. Good God. How many ships are you building? France, re relax. Oh, now Germany's doing theirs. And the Austro-Hungarians. Okay, there we go. No, I'm not going to be allies with you. Stop it. The Grimm, the Yakasoba, the Tsunami, the Heathen, all going to fight against a uh, fleet that has one battleship with 12-inch guns, though. This, this is a new one. Wait, are we at war versus France now? 
Wait, no, no, this is this is Italy. I'm I'm a dum dum. I saw the Monton d'Oro and immediately thought it was like French. Makes sense. Okay, so this is an Italian fleet coming in to uh, stick its nose where it doesn't belong. All right. Well, let's show them why that's a bad idea, shall we? Alright, enemies spotted to the northeast. Slight turn to port, speed up time. Get in the division, please. These are some really old battleships. So we gotta be careful with these ones. They will not take hits very kindly. Plus, they're not particularly uh, trained. They haven't been in a lot of battles. Good old heathen class battleships. Actually, it might be their first battle. Come to think of it. Well, I'm glad to hear it, Robert. Also, welcome, uh, Mace. Appreciate you dropping in. Do I think the new Commonwealth Cruiser will be any good? No idea. I have no idea. Alright, target the battleship first. I say as they immediately set a smoke screen to protect it. God darn it. What do we got in terms of uh, AP is semi-armor piercing on 13-inch guns? That's probably not going to be amazing against the battleship anyway. We'll see. Who's fire armor piercing? And also, fire at the goddard battleship! How many times I gotta click the battleship as the main target? The sooner we get rid of those guns, the better. This is the new design, and he has a lot of those 12-inch guns. And he just landed. So the next time you guys stop shooting at that little bastard, I'm going to sink you myself. I'm going to lose my god. Would you guys please focus the battleship for the love of god. You know the guy with 12 inch guns and a lot of them. Would you please shoot him. Good lord. You waiting for an invitation? Or are you waiting for him to put a 12 inch round through your, your hole? The sooner we can put this guy down, the better. Lack of hits is is really really struggling right now. You can tell these are older battleships for sure. They are struggle busting right now. These guys need scrap. Okay, go ahead. 
ahead and switch secondaries to fire at the little guys. At least the secondaries are accurate. Hey, there we go. There's a hit. I don't think it was the battleship that we hit, but it was a hit. There's a distinct lack of hitting going on with our main guns. More of that, please. If I have to burn that guy down with secondaries, I'll do it. They seem to be a little more effective than our main guns at the moment. And yeah, these are only Mark II. 13 inch guns. These have not been refitted, I don't think. I think we have found a glaring weakness in our uh, battleship fleet that needs to be addressed. You hit him first, he's gonna struggle to hit you back. Just saying. There you go, now we're talking. Now we're starting to land some good effective fire on target. Let's go. More of that. All of it, preferably. We've got some flooding on board. The sheer volume of incoming fire against us is a little disconcerting, if I'm being honest. We definitely need to get rid of these 12-inch guns. If they are hurting. No, 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 no. Delay that order. Come on, boys. Punch him in the face. I need him gone ASAP. I need him gone yesterday, really. Time those big guns go off, I fear for my life. Well, actually, I fear for your lives. I'm back home, sipping a cup of tea. And this is why we like modern ships. I like hitting the enemy when I pull the trigger. Grim is falling back, which is dangerous because that's going to get him fucked up. They're going to rip him apart if he's not careful. Oh, see what I mean? You never want to cross in front of your ships, man. It never ends well. Okay, big hits though. More big hits. And we are slowly taking this guy down. It's just taking forever. Uh, the lack of main guns and accuracy is definitely taking its toll. But we are pulling it off eventually. These guys are shooting each other over here. I don't even think that's us. I think that's them. We're taking some hits from, from heavy cruisers now, too. Which is not ideal. But we really got to get rid of this battleship. I am amazed that this man has not died yet. Between the secondaries setting him on fire and then our primaries beating the hell out of him, like I thought he'd be dead by now.
Keep, keep shooting him. Grim is in trouble. We're gonna lose one. Of, we're gonna lose Grim most likely during this fight. How are we so inaccurate, man? I know the crews aren't great. I know these are an older design, but good God, hit the target. We must save Grim. Keep the guns firing at that little turd. He's almost done, boys. is just getting pieced up, man. Slowly but surely, they're, they're going to succumb. It's just a matter of time. Now that we're close enough to these little turd burglars, we're going to get rid of them. Secondaries will rip these guys apart. boys. Alright, switch targets. Start engaging the heavy cruisers now. Let's try to get rid of these guys. I think the battleship's mostly out of action at this point. I don't see him firing a whole lot. It's crazy to think that all these ships together have about the same amount of firepower as one of our current ships. We're running out of uh, armor piercing as well for the mains.
go. Down goes the heavy cruiser. Just keep... Oh my god, you guys are going crazy. <laughs> Scott Ray coming in, becoming the newest member on the channel, dropping a $5 first ever super chat. And then Jeff Dave coming in, dropping 10 gifted memberships. Thank you guys so much, man. Get some goats in the chat for everybody. Scott, welcome. Appreciate you, my dude. Jeff, thank you so much as well. You guys are awesome, man. Thank you guys. I apologize if I didn't see you guys right away. I've been kind of focused on this crazy battle we're in. Not gonna lie, a little, little bit sidetracked. That's a lot of missing. I forgot what it was like to miss this many shots in a battle. It was ridiculous. Maybe we mix it up a little bit here. Let's wrap around. Change course. See if we can't make something happen here. guns, at least on some of our ships. Get low on it for the rest of them. They're trying to like smoke screen, they're trying to keep them at bay. Oh my god! Scott coming in with another 10 gifted membership, man. Y'all are crazy. Thank you guys so much. And focus down that battleship again. 
Go ahead and finish him off. That the final nail in the coffin. Down goes the battleship. Beautiful. All right, boys. Now we just got to finish off all the riffraff. Y'all know the deal. Oh, massive hit. Beautiful. Oh, God. Focus the fire on the little turd. Torps! Torps in the water! Dodge the torps! Look out, Tsunami! Massive hit, you little turd. Even worse, Tsunami just suffered a freaking flash fire and exploded from one torpedo. Oh, you will not. You will not get away with that, you little bastard. This is why the little riff raff cannot get close. I can't believe we lost a freaking battleship with one torpedo hit. It just goes to show you these old these old battleships just need to be uh, replaced. Come on, boys, get rid of the little turd. I know we don't have any more armor piercing left for the mains. We can still punish these guys. These guys still have torpedoes too, so we gotta keep that in mind. He just launched torps.
All right, let's speed up time here. This is dangerous, crossing in front of each other like this. Make it quick. There we go. Target Roberto. Come on, boys. Why are our secondaries not firing? There's that's huge. Scored a flash fire on him, down he goes. Next. I'll say this despite like all the things like this has been the closest battle we've had in a while unnecessarily close actually and then there was one He's had better days. Hiding behind his fallen comrades. What a shame. This coward must not be left alive. Well, we didn't manage to lose anybody, but it was real close. What up, Daniel? Welcome back. No, it's all good, man. It's all good. I get it. We did... Oh, yeah, that's right. We did lose the tsunami. I forgot about that. That is a shame. One torpedo, man. One torp... Sent to the bottom of the ocean. And a gigantic explosion. But thank you guys so much. Like Scott, Jeff, thank you guys. Dustin. All right, well, that was way closer than it needed to be. I should have grabbed peace there, but oopsie, forgot. I thought that was Britain asking for peace. I'm like, no, not gonna happen. I refuse. All right, get these guys. Over here, please.
What happened to, uh... Kaiju and Shogun are currently repairing, question mark? Yeah, Shogun's repairing. He'll be done next month. Okay. Fair enough. They're about to take Bruma from or Burma from us. I'd really like to see you guys kill those cruisers, but I can't make it happen. Those guys are already moving. Uh, financially, we're losing a little bit of money, but that'll go away pretty quickly. I'm not too worried about that. We got turbo electric drives, which are stupid expensive. So we don't want to do that. Electric steering gears, not really that crazy. Krupp 3 is coming up. Control stations, what do we got coming up? Firing directors, that's always beautiful. More accuracy, love it. Torpedo Mark 3s coming up. The new submarine haul. The coastal submarine is going to come up in six months. Let's go, baby. Give me a... I'll take all of them. I'll order them all. All right. What else we got? I think that's everything, right? So we've got the naval invasion going on. Next month, we should get our guys out of port too. So we should be able to do some things. Italy is trying to be a little pain in my neck. What up, Lancis? Appreciate you dropping in, as always. Shogun has come out of the port, and the first thing he sees is an entire flotilla of destroyers. Well, we'll see how that goes for those destroyers. They think that they're actually going to ambush Shogun in port. That sounds like some Lance's lore in the potential. Not to mention, like, Shogun is a, just an absolute behemoth of what it's done in this episode alone. But the fact that it's coming off of being repaired... And then immediately gets jumped by a flotilla of freaking destroyers. As I like, I envision that as right as it's leaving the the like dock, like just a wall of destroyers as far as the eye can see, challenging it, saying, "You will not come out to sea." And Shogun says, "You will not hold me back." So let's let's show them how wrong they are that they think 10 destroyers is enough to hold back the Shogun. I don't think they brought enough destroyers. Honestly, I don't even want to shoot my main guns. I don't want to waste the ammo. These six inch secondaries should be more than enough to take out any of the riffraff. Especially with a veteran crew. And so it begins.
This is why they call them anti-torpedo boat armament, guys. God, we have we have SAP on this thing. We don't even need HE. Let's see how they handle the SAP. Oh yeah, that seems to be a little more effective, doesn't it? British Navy thought that they could blockade the Shogun, keep him from coming out of port. They were wrong. We didn't lose a single crew member, and we sank 11 of their transport, or 11 of their destroyers. Another 1,243 sailors sent to the bottom. What up, Godzilla? Eris? Yeah, if only, if only Legend Secondaries were actually anti-torpedo boat, who'd have thunk it? Imagine if, if torpedo boats could actually be spotted outside of, like, or, yeah, outside of, like, point-blank range. And imagine if our secondaries actually, like, went out to distance like they should. Like, I find it funny that, like, the secondaries on American battleships only shoot five kilometers base, right? With the exception of Massachusetts and Ohio, soon to be. So, like, the guns that we use for secondaries on pretty much every American ship at this point are the same guns that are on the Atlanta-class light cruisers, right? The Atlanta-class shoots out to 13 kilometers. Some of the other ones, like San Diego, shoot even further than that. So, like, it's just funny to me. Burma has been taken. Unfortunate. We will get it back. Just give it time. They'll probably immediately initiate an invasion of Thailand next. I will say this. The, the British are being really obnoxious. All right. Move Shogun. Oh, it's not done yet. Where's there a battle? How is there a battle all the way out there? Okay. What do we got? The battleship Caesar and the destroyer Nestor versus the battleship Kaiju, fresh out of being repaired, and the destroyer Shirakumo. I mean, this seems like a one-on-one -on -one encounter for, for the ages, right? Except Kaiju just got re uh, repaired and will likely just absolutely dominate. So this should be fun. All right, so how are we doing? Shirakumo, uh, you can actually, you know what? Just go ahead and, and follow our battleship. I want you to, to scribe what goes on in this battle. For the news, back home, southwest. Go.
What up, Silverblade? Welcome to the stream, my dude. The Shogun, flagship of the Imperial Navy, 3rd Fleet, had just finished repair work after a previous engagement. The British, seeing a possibility of engaging her, sailed their 23rd destroyer group to catch her coming out of port and attempt to sink her. I love Lotz's lore. Enemy destroyer has been spotted. Our destroyer has launched torpedoes in the direction. Holy shiitake mushrooms. This is not the scribing that I was hoping for. Stop trying to avoid him and just avoid him. Good Lord. I realize you wanted to be like you wanted to go down in history as the first destroyer to actually accomplish anything in the Japanese Navy but damn that was a little too close for my comfort and when I tell you to follow I mean follow preferably don't go all crazy the name of the Shirokomo about went down in history for all the wrong reasons fall back in line The crew of the battleship in the tall mast spotted the destroyers as they entered the perimeter of the port. The call of battle stations were sounded and all hands manned the secondary guns. The cannons armed with semi-armor piercing rounds were able to quickly sink the first wave of oncoming destroyers. Ouch. All right, you little turd. All right, we got to run him down. Give me all speed, please. Ow, you dick! He's got some accurate 9-inch guns going on here. Let's show him what accurate 13-inch guns can do. Yeah, you like that? Oh, your little nine-inch guns don't seem so tough all of a sudden, do they? There we go, Kaiju. Show them who's boss. Somebody's better. Bye. We sank him so fast, we didn't even get to identify what, which one it was. <laughs> it was Caesar. <laughs> well, goodbye, Caesar. Good luck. Stick to salad dressing. The main guns, though powerful in their own right, were ordered to hold fire and not engage. Accurate. The crew, battle-hardened through several engagements, had little to no difficulty maneuvering the guns, and every ship they sighted, their shells were accurate and ripped. And every ship they sighted, their shells were accurate and ripped them open like the tin cans they were. Absolutely. We took a little bit more damage than I wanted to take in that fight, if I'm being 100%. But uh, overall, the win is a win. And we recovered 58 crew after the battle. So, there's that. Alright, so this should finish in three months. It only has a 6% chance to succeed because this stupid freaking fleet that refuses to engage...
I can't move them. Why can I not move them? They're not done repairing yet. They're engaging in fights, but they're not done repairing. Interesting how that works. Uh, we have the Cthulhu class battle cruisers on their way. All right. Why do we have a fleet all the way down here? Can we not have that fleet all the way down there, please? Uh, move somewhere more useful, like Bangkok. You guys are destined for the scrapyard. One night in Bangkok makes the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if you guys know that song, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know why. Whatever. Just immediately pops into my head. I haven't heard that song in so long, but as soon as I saw Bangkok, I was immediately like, that song popped into my head. That's how my brain works. Y'all think I'm crazy, but I might be. I might legitimately be crazy. Because that's how my brain works. I don't understand it either. All right. Next turn. Hopefully, Shogun will be done, and I can send him over here to start dealing with the riffraff again. Within an hour, the enemy was sunk, and for the Shogun, not a single man was lost. With this victory, Britain grows more apprehensive of further engagements, while Shogun's fame and legend grows even larger. Okay, I'll agree for peace for the Italians. That's fine. Like, I've got... They have nothing more that I would like. Mexico would like a Shogun-class battleship. Word of the Shogun's exploits have spread to other countries. They are very, very willing. A 90... They're almost willing to pay 100% above markup for the, for the price of a Shogun. They're like, you know what? Hey, total profit of 99%. Final offer. Good lord. Uh, sorry, Mexico. Can't do it, buddy. It's too powerful. And Burma is starting to invade other... You know what? As soon as we're done here in Borneo, we're, we're taking our, our stuff back. Like, this is getting out of hand. Like, you guys need to stop. All right, Shogun, are you done? Move ships, please, over here. Motherfucker! I can't move them again because of a stupid battle. God dang it. You think your peddly little heavy cruisers can stop the Shogun? We will defend our transports. After the battle with the destroyer, Shogun was trying to make its way over towards western borneo to assist with the naval invasion and noticed that some transports were in trouble they they picked up a radio transmission from some nearby transports that were that were being attacked by a group of heavy cruisers never want to back down from a fight shogun set sail towards the conflict Arriving just in time to protect a substantial transport fleet from the enemy heavy cruisers who were spotted off to the southwest. Shogun makes a turn to starboard and engages all engines in an effort to run down the heavy cruisers before they get in range to target friendly transports. What up, Thunder One? Jessica, welcome back. I mean, in fairness, there's only so much you can do. Like, a ship's a ship. They bring out new stuff. It's fine. I don't mind. I think I think Legendary can't really get any worse at this point, so 
They might as well do what they can. We spotted the enemy cruisers at a range of just under 14 kilometers and opened fire. Made a turn to starboard to put ourselves between the enemy heavy cruisers and the friendly transports. Reducing speed to cut down on engine vibrations, making our, our gunnery even more accurate. Shogun makes the final turn to open up full broadside to the enemy and cruisers so that she could bring all guns to bear on the aggressors. After a few rounds of bracketing salvos with high explosive, once we started landing shells, we switched over to the SAP for what should be absolute devastation. One person at a time, please, Shogun. These are not your usual riffraff. There we go. See how much more effective that is? Focus one at a time, baby. Bracketing salvo. Fire the guns in three, two, one. Two down, two to go. All right, target the closer ship. up liquor store welcome to the stream right lots of, it's it's one of those things where you literally uh you, you just you get into a role you start like actually coming up with stories to to like talk about rather than just like watching the battles happen i like it you rub it off on me lots of. Almost got Yama, nice. Gearing's a good ship, man. You won't be you won't be disappointed. I know a lot of people give gearing crap because they said Sumner's better, but honestly, gearing is just as good as Sumner. I I I don't have any trouble with gearing. Gearing's fantastic. It's a great gunboat, great torp boat. It can do it all. After the heroic actions of the Shogun, the crew was once again congratulated by the Emperor himself. Alright, now we're out of battle, so can we... I swear to God, if it's repairing again, I'm gonna lose my mind. Damn it! Stop repairing the fucking ship! Game, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind! Stop it! I hate this. It's stopping me from moving my ship because it keeps, like, doing these little riffraff battles. Stop it! If I don't have my Shogun ability to move it in the next fucking month, I'm gonna lose my god darn mind. <laughs> Stop fucking with me! Alright, and this is why I tend to split these, these fleets up as well. So we have Ghidorah, Gojira. You guys need to be your own fleet because what happens is the enemy just refuses to like attack them let's 
So make sure they're inside the thing. God dang it. This is fucking with me so bad because I know I need the, the ships there to fucking do it. Those guys are going to take forever to get over there. Might as well send them here too. Worst part is, like, this is taking so long because of this stupid fleet that's sitting right on top of our fleet. Why our fleet can't just attack them is beyond me. It's beyond me. I, I don't understand the game's logic there. Like, my fleet is literally sitting on top of an enemy fleet. My fleet should, should attack them, especially given the fact that we have, like, overwhelming firepower. We had five battleships there in that group. Meanwhile, we're losing territory because of the stupidity. Like, this should have been over. Next turn. When might I do story time with Spartan? I mean, I really don't have that many, like, crazy stories. I'm a pretty boring person. Like, I, I've pretty much said all, all the crazy stuff. Like, I'm a pretty boring person to be honest. I did run into, I did run into a uh, semi-famous person down in Florida while I was down there uh, recently. So I was, I walked to the gas station. It was like, I don't know, three in the morning. I walked to the gas station to get a, a bite to eat. So I, I got a, like a cold cut sub or something and walked in and, and there was a guy uh, talking to me. He said he used to be a, um, one of the backup drummers for uh, Journey during like the 80s which i thought was pretty cool okay we're at peace with the italians so we'll take some of their money from them i'm not worried about anything else masses of dissatisfied protests blah 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 we have no unrest so i'm not too worried about it shogun once again is engaging with the uh, battleship ramilis it is a colossus class battleship with three or four escorted cruisers. Due to the misfortune, or like the missteps of the previous destroyer, I am a little anxious about letting them be a part of this, so I'm just going to tell them to go home. Yeah, yesterday was actually Pearl Harbor Day, right? Twelve, uh, the 7th? All right, you guys go ahead and retreat. Shogun will take it over. Let's go ahead and load up the AP. Gonna be spotted to the southwest, so we are going to be turning that direction apparently. The exploits of the, the Shogun will go down in history, <laughs> like for all of everybody to, to talk about. This, this ship has single-handedly darn near completely wiped out the entirety of the British Navy. We've already been spotted, shocker. It's not like we're the size of a god darn continent compared to what we're fighting. Enemy spotted to the northwest now, okay. Turn back to starboard. We'll find him. Just a matter of time. And when we do, God help him. Where are Show yourselves, cowards. I mean, they're close enough that it's only times five, so they're, they're decently close. The fact that we're not seeing them is a little uh, annoying. Maybe I should have used my uh, destroyers as spotters, but couldn't be bothered. Never mind, we found them!
turn to chase them down. Got smoke screens lagging behind him as well. Oh, big hit already. Ouch. That's just the front guns. I haven't even got the chance to use the, the whole firepower yet. Surely you can survive just the front guns. As I open up the angle to get even more guns on target. Slow down, get the accuracy bonus going. We took a 9.4 inch hit. We returned fire with a full salvo and absolutely annihilated the battleship. That's, that's on brand. How dare you have the audacity to hit my battleship. They pissed Shogun off. They have no idea the wrath of the Shogun is upon them. We took one hit from the battleship and we haven't missed since. <laughs> we still haven't missed. Oh, it's hilarious. Oh yeah, that was a miss. Fair enough. the boiler crew would occasionally get water out of any non-fired boilers to stay hydrated while working. Water was some of the best damn water they ever drank. Fresh from their rescue mission, the Shogun was once again called to action as the flagship of the British 8th Battle Fleet, Ramillis, and her escorts close to the home port to attempt to hold her again. Unbeknownst to Admiral Spartan, this was all part of Britain's strategy. The Navy will run skirmishes to occupy the bulk of the Japanese Navy while the Royal Army proceeded with a, lane, a land campaign. Yes. They know they cannot defeat us on the, on the seas, so they must try on land. Down they go! Another 3,787 or 84 sailors sent to the bottom. Another five 
ship sunk and not a single crew member was lost. Somehow they still managed 13 victory points, though. I don't understand that. But uh, I, I'm telling you, if I end up getting repaired again after that fight, I might just throw something. Yeah, Jeff, they, they've got to be getting low. Like, we have, we have completely annihilated their entire fleet. That's for sure. Naturally, the British Navy never intended to sacrifice their ships, but the difference of designs was so drastic that the older battleships of Britain were outclassed. In other news, battleship Gojira welcomed a new commander to replace her previous captain who had been promoted to command the Southern Navy. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, if if I could get you to write like scripts for me, I could totally I could totally pull off like an announcer or something like that where we, we do like a, a like a news show. I'm telling you, it could be it could be good. There's a reason I call you the lore master. Britain's, British tried to take control of Hawaii. Man, they're just trying to grab everything. See, this is why we need to stop them. Shogun, please move. Over. I'm going to lose my god darn gourd. The British keep fucking with me. Kaiju is in a fight with the battleship Lion, a uh, light cruiser, and the destroyer Tasmania. Her new captain, a veteran of the previous war with Russia, injured but kept on due to his tactical prowess. His name? Isoroku Yamamoto. I like it. wonder what would happen if I decided to attack the United States. Commander Yamamoto, what do you think? <laughs> Should we? Ah, it's not part of our war plan. All right, Naganami, uh, please retreat. Kaiju's got this. Enemy spotted to the southwest. Turn to starboard. Arm the armor piercing place. Actually, this can be auto. Okay, we've been spotted. Kaiju, we once again ask you to do what we need you to do. Defend our interests as only a Kaiju can. You have a long story tradition. You must uphold it. Also, I just realized we're getting very low on crews on a lot of these ships. I gotta, I gotta refill some of these ships with crew. It's gonna suck because we're gonna lose the training level on our crew, but we definitely need to get that going. Oh my god. Bryce Gaming coming in with a $5 bomb out of nowhere. Kind of scared the crap out of me, I ain't gonna lie. Is the Ohio like the Montana with 18-inch guns? Basically, it, the Ohio is a Montana hull with with dual 18-inch Georgia gun turrets. Ouch. But it's got like Massachusetts range on secondaries and it's got the uh, quick fire heel.
Return to the cruiser! Thank you. I see that the British are starting to adopt my tactic of uh, engaging and then turning to kite away in hopes that it uh, keeps us at, at range. But I don't think that they understand that that only works if the enemy isn't as effective, if not more effective at range than you are. Kaiju, demonstrate. He's capable of 26 knots, so like he gets to dictate this engagement, whether I like it or not. But thank you so much. Oh God, I clicked off the screen. Thank you for the uh, $5 bomb there, Bryce. Appreciate you. That she is, Thor. That she is. Also, he's low on fuel. That's going to cut his engine speed down. We should be able to catch up to him. Currently at 10.2 kilometers. And closing. We have knocked out a funnel as well. hit and a flood that's gonna that's gonna slow down the lion like I said that strategy only works if the enemy isn't ow you dick touche open open up the angle I want to bring all guns to bear word and accept you mother trucker Stop hitting my ship! See, Kaiju, this is why you don't play with your food. Do these rear guns, serious? I was gonna say, do these guns not have an angle on shooting that guy? For reals? That's the end of that battleship. The destroyer is going to live to fight another day because I'm not chasing him down, but uh, there you go. We did lose 51 crew, but uh, we they lost 1,319, so fair trade. What up, Benjamin? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you dropping in, my guy. The Izumo class was an armored cruiser series built for the Imperial Japanese Navy during 1898 to 1901. Two ships of about 9,500 tons were constructed in British shipyards. They were armed with two twin 8-inch guns, 14 6-inch guns, 12 3-inch guns, eight 1.65-inch guns, and four underwater torpedo tubes. Their designed top speed was 20.75 knots, but on trials they proved faster by at least one knot. The Amethyst and the Lion are gone. Alright. Can I... Mother truckers. Okay. We've got the advantage in this at the moment. Got plenty of tonnage there. Would like to get my other battleships over here to really seal the deal.
Next turn. What up, Slowest? Good to see you. Things are going good. Appreciate you dropping in. You know what? I think it's uh, safe for the heavy cruisers to leave that area to come down and, and do some, some work down here now. I think we've taken out most of the super fleets. It's down to a bunch of riffraff, so see if the heavy cruisers can, can deal with it. Fight to the end. We are not done with you. Oh, my God. Dude, they're doing it again every single month. I have not been able to get my god darn main battleship out of port because they keep engaging me. As much as I want to go after him, I'm going to try to withdraw from this fight because I want to... I want to get my ship out of port. We have new battle cruiser hulls to check out. Anyway, can I now move my god darn ship? Yes, I can. Thank you. As for the fleet, Kaiju, you have served admiralty, or admirally, admirably. But uh, as of right now, ah, uh, you know what? I'm not retiring you just yet. Get some crew. Get get some some heals. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, heavy cruisers. Since these guys are too afraid to attack you, go ahead and uh, make yourself known down here. As was originally planned, Liz. Actually, we have caught a battle cruiser and a heavy cruiser all by their lonesome. You are to intercept and destroy. Uh, the enemy is down to 117 ships. They are currently building 47 ships. Good Lord. Got to be a bunch of smaller ships that they're building. They've already got subs. This is inexcusable. How dare they have submarines before us. How is our uh, economy doing, by the way? Are we getting this back up? We're at 160%. I want to pay attention to that. I want to pay attention to it. I will be getting my country's, or my, my land back. Don't you worry, Britain. You just wait. I'll be getting back with interest. Next turn. What up, Stung? Yeah, you know me, man. I'm out I'm out here doing things. We started at nine o'clock. It's been three hours. Yeah, we've we've sunk another third of their fleet. Like remember, they had over three hundred to start with, and they've been building ships this whole time. And now they're building 45 more. So, uh, yeah, we, we've, we've sank a lot of ships. As, res, as uh, shown in the war score. Mexico would like a couple of heavy cruisers. Yeah, we could probably do that. Five DDs versus four DDs. I mean, who's, uh, it's our transports. Okay, what do they got? They got five inch, four inch, three inch guns. They got a lot of guns. We got a lot of torps. I don't like this fight, if I'm honest. I really don't. Our destroyers are not meant for this role.
All right, we've got our destroyers. Enemy is spotted to the south. Speed up time, please. This may, may not be what you were designed to do. But that does not mean that you are not up to the task. To the southeast. So they are off to our left. Why is this my battle line? This is stupid. How did I get control of the god darn transports? Why can I not control my fleet? Dude, fuck. Uh, detach. All of you. Dumb fuckers. God darn it. It's like I, I can control the transports. This has never happened before. Have a good night, Lonsus. Appreciate you, man. Be safe at work, man. Okay, one down. A torp right up the prop shaft. run straight into the dorks. And let me guess, the enemy AI will just dodge every torpedo like it's going out of style. Miraculously.
despite me having the god dang thing set on dodging torpedoes, my guys still run straight into the damn things. Get back in line. Why do we only have three DDs now? What is it? The tokens, whatever. Why are you here with Jesus? You're an idiot. Come on, Naganami. Fucking hit the target, damn it. Dude, they are just ripping it apart. They're just better at gunboating. Like, we're just dead here. Just fucking retreat. Stop trying to fucking join the god darn dude! You're a fucking idiot! Stop! Like, get the fuck away from them, you dumb dumb. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna slow down and try to join the fucking transports. Those transports are with Jesus. We can't win this gunfight. They got way more guns than we do on those little fuckers. Look how many guns they got on his fucking destroyer. Oh, he ate torps, though. I think those are his own torpedoes. Where the hell did those come from? Yeah, we'll, we'll end it there. They lost more sailors than we did, but it's technically a defeat? Question mark? Who knows? Oh, you're home from work. I thought you said you were going to work. Starfield wasn't nominated for anything. I mean, that's not that surprising. While it was fun initially, it got real repetitive, real old, real fast. What up, Benjamin? Welcome back. Yeah, I'll take a percentage of the cargo of those transports for sure. Take what you can get, Britain. Because this one's not going in your favor exactly, is it? All right, these guys are still chugging along. Still losing quite a bit of money, but we're okay. I ain't worried about that. We've still got a huge victory point advantage. That's not a problem. These guys are fucking going ham over here, and it's pissing me off. Because my government won't fucking do anything when it comes to trying to attack anything. Look, they've been pushed all the way back here. My government sucks at land battles. Look, he's about to fucking take this back. All because of this bullshit where I can't fucking attack any of these ships that are right here. Right next to all my fleets. I'm not allowed to attack them. Why? Why is that a thing? Like, get them the fuck out of my naval vision thing. I can't, you can't let them just sit in the fucking circle with all of my ships and get away with it. Like, these guys are fully capable of seeing them. Like, you see the fucking recon circle, right? Like, 
That is the thing. We're literally been on top of them multiple times. God, that shit gets old. Like they're fucking, they're fucking with my god darn ability to navally invade because they're just sitting there and none of my ships are willing to fucking engage. And there's nothing I can do to force the engagement. I'm parked on top of the motherfuckers. That should be enough to say, hey, I want to sink this guy. But no, the game has to decide that. Real annoying. Uh, invade only makes them more aggressive against enemy transports. And you don't want to do that near friendly waters. Because it can also, uh, have a negative impact on your own transport security. Kaiju versus a whole bunch of destroyers again. Well, Kaiju has a fresh crew, so this could get interesting. You got the Jean Bart pirate ship. Congrats, Johnny. Yeah, when you set when you set a ship to invade, what that means is that you're trying to aggressively go after transports. If you do that near friendly waters, you're likely to have collateral damage. Jessica, we're coming in with the $5 bob. Captain Spartan of the Transport Rising Sun. I have enjoyed the stream and good night. Thank you so much, Jess. Have a good night. Appreciate you dropping in, as always. Enemy spotted to the south. They coming in under cover of darkness, thinking that's gonna save them. We still have seasoned crew, so. Yeah, I'm doing okay, Stun. Slowly. Losing my mind. You know how it goes. The enemy's trying to throw all their, their little torque boats at me. Welcome back, tree man. About to get yellow rushed. Can we please hit the goddamn ship? Same thing for the next one. Also, how is this ship still moving? It's dead. That's got to be a bug. And a dumb one at that. And now this guy's going to dump torps. Haven't we already sunk the Tasmania once?
what is with them like continuing to like try to ramp me after they're dead? Hey, <laughs> sorry, but your ship is no longer under power. It should stop pretty quickly. That's their soul going to the afterlife. Momentum, yeah, but they're a put like momentum is one thing. Yes, they they will have a little bit of momentum, but you're talking about a gigantic object pushing against the ocean. Okay, it's not like a plane falling out of the sky. It's it's got to move the water out of the way. There's got to be some propulsion there. When the propulsion's gone, a ship, uh, maybe a battleship, would take a while to stop, but a destroyer should stop relatively quickly. That guy was still doing like 40 knots when he glitched through my ship. All right, we've got a 100% chance to succeed. This will be done in two months. Is that enough to uh, stop this? Maybe. Maybe. Not a guarantee, but maybe. It's ridiculous. And they still got all these little freaking turd waffles hiding around here. Okay, how much tonnage do we actually need here? Shogun, go hunting. It's your turn to start hunting again. Let's see if we can draw those guys into a fight. Get them out of my waters. These are our waters. I don't care if they got a port right there or not. It's about to be our port. Okay, finances. Um, we're at 160. We are we are starting to recoup our transports as as I expected. So that's good. Uh, new armor quality in two months. That's good. Hull strengthening project coming up. Lightweight fittings, which comes up with the new modernized dreadnought hulls. Let's go! Oh, it's going to feel so good. It's going to be so good. Also, we have the new uh, Battlecruiser halls that we need to take a look at, too. Speaking of which, let's take a look at them. New design! The ship's channel, their inner glow worm. I bet it's the uh, force of the explosion propelling their ship. It's something. All right, so soon we will have some new modernized dreadnought hulls. So I'm looking forward to that. But let's take a look at the battle cruisers. So this is the battle cruiser two hull. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. As you know, I hate this sort of like bow heavy design. So what's the battle cruiser three hull? That's more like it, but that's still. I mean, that's basically what we already have for the dreadnought. So meh, meh. 65 million like if we were to do like a dreadnought obviously these dreadnoughts would be gone this is essentially the same thing this is a 94 million dollar haul versus a 60 but the hull form is much better do we come up with a new battle cruiser i mean we literally just built battle cruisers didn't we hmm what can we do advanced tower six Rear tower. Something like that. Funnels. Uh, we want this thing to do 30 knots if we can. Um, let's go ahead and set up this semi oil. New spoilers, gear turbines, auxiliary two, shaft three, electro hydro steering. Oh, yeah, we want to wait till we get the crop armor. Never mind. Hold that thought. 
we're about to get some new stuff. We'll, we'll wait to design stuff until after we get the new, like, armor and stuff like that. What up, Torch? The HMS Glowworm was a British destroyer that was sunk while engaging the Admiral Hipper in World War II. Though outclassed, the small destroyer turned to ram the German cruiser. The captain of the Hipper wrote to the, Bri uh, to, yeah, to the British Admiralty telling them to give the Victoria Cross. Interesting. Captain of the Hipper wrote a letter to the British Admiralty recommending the Glowworm's captain for the... Oh yeah, you both... You both said the same thing. I was like, wait, didn't you just say that? Nope, that was Thung saying that. Yeah, so we just designed the Cthulhu class in 1915. So I don't think we need to build a new battle cruiser at this time. But we, we do have some new hulls and stuff to consider. But uh, research-wise, we get the new armor in a couple of months. What do we got here? Mark three 14-inch guns. Oh my god, these 14-inch guns are about to get nasty. As if they weren't already. What do we got here? Ah, casemate barrels. Ah, whatever. I hate this. I feel I feel like barrel technology needs to be its own separate like thing. You know what I mean? Like, seriously, I hate the fact that it's considered turret mechanisms. It's a barrel. You got eight gajillion of them. Put them in their own separate like category and let us actually work on turret mechanisms instead of constantly researching barrel technology i'm pretty confident that the uh the developers occasionally drop in even if they don't say anything or at least they watch these because there's been a lot of stuff that i've been talking about recently that's been getting addressed such as the uh, loading into battle occasionally freezing up that that was supposedly addressed in this particular update so Interesting to uh, see them. All right. Heavy cruisers. Where you got? Got a light cruiser there. Battleship. Battle cruiser. All these guys are trying to go through there, so we're just going to put ourselves in the way again. All right. Next turn. What happened in India? What isn't happening in India? The darn British are being obnoxious. They've been delaying our takeover of Borneo and uh, allowing their land armies to be a pain in my ass. It's all right though. It's just a it's just a setback. We will we will get all of that land back in due time. Don't worry. Darn British. They know they can't take me in an open combat anymore. So, so now they're just trying to like backdoor the shit out of me. We do not negotiate with our enemy. Go figure. Instead of fighting, instead of fighting my god darn. Mm. Okay, so Emperor's Fist, Suzano, and Amagi are going to have to fight that big fleet. Even though we literally sent our massive battleship over to deal with them. It's annoying. But... I'm not one to back down from a fight. We'll take him out.
All right. This is nothing you boys haven't seen before. But it's going to take a uh, significant effort on your part to overcome the fleet that's before you. So please be accurate. I have faith. I mean, we're literally landing shells at 20 kilometers right now. We're not doing any damage until we get a good penetration, but we're at least hitting them at 20 kilometers. Which is kind of crazy. Four battleships versus three battleships. Plus the battleships that have four also have an entire fleet with them. Target the lead vessel, please. begin. Good work, boys. Down goes the first battleship. Target the second battleship. I said target the second battleship. Good hit. If I tell you to target a ship, I, I want you to target that ship. Stop playing games. Focus him to the ground. That's much better. It's the Iron Duke! Oof. That's the Iron Death. Focus the Jupiter. Taking a little bit of damage from a battle cruiser. Battle cruiser hiding. We're gonna have to deal with that guy real quick. Take down the battle cruiser favorite. Secondary, start targeting the riffraff closing in on us. Take on the Royal Alfred now. Okay, 
Target the resolution. Damn, the resolution went up like a Roman candle. Boys, open season. There's still the Jupiter back there. I didn't realize he survived, but it's fine. Go ahead and aim the guns at him. Target their closest light cruiser with the secondaries, please. Switch targets. Should be the end of the Jupiter. Down goes the heavy cruiser. How long will the light cruisers, you know what? Let's go ahead and park. I think that might have been a little touch of overkill there, did <laughs> That man just took all the rounds from all of the battleships all at the same time. That was a GG's. The La Foudre? At a battle where one of your Texas-class dreadnoughts with 14-inch Mark IV guns punched a battlecruiser in the mouth and the shell apparently went straight through the inside. Got the Massachusetts over the LaFoudre. I prefer the Massachusetts, but, you know. I like to have fun with secondary battleships. Okay, we've got a 100% chance to succeed here. Let's go ahead and send this back over. We're going to go ahead and grab Malaysia while we're here, or Singapore and Malaysia. So is it next turn? It is. Okay, so what we'll do is go ahead and start moving these guys up. 
I think you got to take Singapore first, and then you got to take. Take the rest. So if we go ahead and initiate today a naval invasion of Singapore. Then we can see how much that's going to take next turn. And then we can start to also take Malaya, hopefully. We'll see. Just trying to optimize the takeover if we can. All right, next turn. Yeah, if you take if you take the custom like skin of the pirate ship La Foudre off, Jean Bart is literally right across the butt of the ship. It's it's Jean Bart. It's just slightly nerfed over the original. Yeah, uh, the French battleships actually have decent secondaries as well. But the, we, the thing about it is, like, the Jean Barts, all those secondaries are at the back. They have, like, one 150mm gun up front, I think. And everything else is back. So, not particularly useful. Now, uh, Flander, on the other hand, that, that's got good secondaries. They're not particularly hard-hitting. They do have some 150s. But most of them are 100 millimeter fire starters. Oh, come on. Is it submarine time? It's very close. Suzanu and Amagi are against a massive fleet of battleships again with some heavy cruisers and light cruisers and destroyer. This is a massive fleet, but they can handle it. But welcome, Kyle. Appreciate you dropping in, man. Atlantico, Schlieffen, and uh, Colombo all have fantastic secondaries. Lepanto does too, but they nerfed the secondaries on the Lepanto quite a bit. But Atlantico is so much fun. The biggest threat to the Atlantico is fire spammers. I'm just happy that these streams have been doing so well lately. Like, tonight hasn't been quite as active, but, but we've still had, like, 50 to 70 people at any given mo moment during the stream. So, I'm just glad you guys are enjoying this, this playthrough as much as I am. All right. Amagi, Susana, or Suzanu, we need you guys to be on point again. Enemy spotted to the southeast. Engage. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like, that's what I'm saying. I remember it wasn't that long ago when we would have maybe 20 people watching. So I'm glad I'm glad people are enjoying the stream. I think more people would enjoy it if they actually gave it a chance. But uh, I'm glad to see more and more people coming into chat, hanging out with us, getting ships named after them. I enjoy it. It's easily my most, like, interactive stream. Like, it's so much easier for me to keep up with you guys. Even though I still get distracted and forget about you guys once in a while. It's 
feels like one last ditch effort of the British to save uh, Borneo here, to be honest. Hate to break it to you, Britain, but you've lost. Get over it. I'm gonna kick you straight out of Asia. Just like I have everyone else. Asia will be ruled by Asia and no one else. battleship, I think. There goes the Duncan. Doesn't this feel like, like one last ditch effort for the British to try to like hold on to what they're, what we're taking from them? That's what it feels like to me. I don't know how many more ships they have left. They gotta be getting close. Ouch. Boggy was about to make a catastrophic mistake. Target audacious and in him. You're getting far too close for my comfort. Alright, now follow Suzumi. Now that we've pretty much protected Amagi from getting annihilated from herself. me a favor, Amagi. Can you get the little riffraff off your tail? Speaking of Columbo, the light cruiser called Columbo too. Come on, boys. There's a wall of little riffraff we need to get rid of in a hurry.
of the Light Cruiser Belfast. we have torpedo protection things are gonna happen no gigantic explosion this time that's the difference between an older design and a newer design older design exploded newer god dang it that torp didn't even touch us it was so far away from us it's just stupid Come on. That's horseshit. I'm calling that bullshit. And it knocked out my goddamn engine. So now I'm going like half the speed of smell. Alright, get these little turds off of your back door. Alright, turn out. Auto, auto. Come on, boys. Please target the closest goddamn vessel. I love when I target a fucking ship and then immediately the game overrides my decision and it tries to target somebody else. It's like, get rid of the little guy that's right next to us and then switch to the, all the other ship. See how quickly we can get rid of those guys? Now, switch to the front guy. I gotta see what their range on their torps is now. Point collide. What? That ain't right. 4.3 kilometers. Okay, so some of these are clearly older designs and some of them are newer. Let's turn away so that we can get our, our guns elevated enough to actually shoot the target with Suzanu here.
Suzanu is flooded so bad I can't actually aim the guns at the bad guys. So we're gonna detach. Take Suzanu. Sail off into the sunset, please. Amagi, your goal. Continue to engage. As she gets some distance, she should be able to go back to engaging. The Magi's still going to be able to engage. Down goes the one. Already hitting the other one as well. Massive hits. Should be the end of that one as well. Good night, Rogue. Beautiful. Alright, circle back and start dealing with the riffraff down here. Susanu. You're doing great. We're going to go ahead and rotate back around. Ourself between the enemy and the Suzanu. Down goes one. Now we just got hit with flooding. goes the formidable I can't tell where the last ship is that'll do it nighty night sunshine goodbye Cumberland what a fight what a voltage welcome appreciate you dropping in have a good night, Johnny. Appreciate you dropping in as well. We have sank them all. 432 crew lost on the Amagi and the Susanu. Uh, 11,800 on the Japanese, or on the uh, Britain. 26 sh uh, ship sunk, 49,000 victory points.
I mean, the British, the British theory here is that they have so many more ships than us. They're, they're basically the Russians at this point, right? Like, that's, that's their whole game plan. They're like, we have the ships. We have the manpower. We're just going to keep throwing at, like, you know, throwing these ships and these men at the problem. Eventually, they will overcome it. Uh, unfortunately for them, they vastly underestimate the resolve of their enemy. And we are not going to allow them to win. <laughs> light damage, guys. Remember that. That was light damage. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's uh, definitely due for some repairs. All right, so we've got all of the Borneo, uh, the island of Borneo and all of that. We've got it all under control. So now we've got this invasion over here. We need more tonnage, so let's get them in here. How long will this take? Seven months? Good God. Might as well step up in here, too. Why not? All right, fleet. Our battle cruisers are coming online just in time to get some action. That's the best part. Like, our, our, our battleships and stuff are having to get repaired, right? So the British are like, yes, we are winning. We're starting to, to force them out of the oceans. Three battleships are currently being repaired. Two brand new battle cruisers that are just nasty are rolling off the line top of the line battle cruisers <laughs> the timing the timing is perfect tell me again how i am not a very good admiral all right which i think they were at sasebo right yeah so they will be coming online very shortly next turn Have a good night, Stung. Appreciate you, man. I don't know how much longer we're going to be going either. We've we've done quite a bit here. We've we've succeeded in our goal of grabbing Borneo finally, locking it down. We're starting to uh, push the British out of Asia once and for all. We have survived the flood of British ships, and uh, we are not only surviving the flood, but we're starting to uh, take take what is ours back, and that is a big big deal. Have a good night, midnight. Appreciate you as well, man. Yeah, China, China's no more, hence the reason we have taken so much land off of them. Have a good night, Torch. Appreciate you dropping in as well. <laughs> it's all good, Voltage. It's all good, man. All in good fun. At this point, I'm pretty confident that the queen herself would be like begging the emperors like, look, we, we fucked up. Okay, we get it. Uh, I would like to withdraw humbly. <laughs> and the empire go, respectfully, my queen, but uh, you and your country can kindly fuck off <laughs> we will not go quietly we will take back all of the land that you have stolen in asia and claim it for ourselves 
There's the Mark III 14-inch gun. Oh, this is about to get nasty. Oh, we have so much stuff coming. All right, say so both. Two battle cruisers ready to go. Get down here to the fun, please. Hey, two battle cruisers versus two battle cruisers. That seems fair. Let's test it out. Fresh crews and everything. There are no enemy ships here, right? So how the hell is there not like a 100% chance to succeed here with double the tonnage? Come on. Make it happen. Obviously, Britain is making way more progress than I would like up here, too. Dude, I swear if they take southern China before I can get this done, I'm going to lose it. And then they will, too. They absolutely will. Can we start a naval invasion of Burma? No. We can go for Malaya. Uh, might as well try. Let's see where, how much of Malaya we can do here. I'm not sure which port it'll be. It'll either be this one or this one. I'm hoping it's this one, but it'll probably be this one. But we'll see. Next turn. The roller of Britain at this point would be King George V. Yeah. The British are going for southern China. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I got to take Malaya separate. Uh, but it looks like we got lucky. It looks like the port of uh, Malacca or Malacca? Malacca uh, is going to be the uh, naval invasion port. So that's perfect. That allows us to take both of these at the same time, which is beautiful. Couldn't have planned it better if I if I try. So at least that allows us to take both of this at the same time. United States is uh, building new ships. The French are refitting ships. I'm sure there are a whole bunch more going on. Yair, good to see you. Almost missed you, my dude. Thank you for dropping in. Hopefully you enjoy as well. Come on, finish building your ships. Oh, come on. God, this takes forever. Let's get it done. Finish your freaking building already. Good Lord. It's done. They're attacking some more of our transports. We just unlock preheaters. We're no longer losing transports. You'll love to see that. The Republic of China has showed back up in Manchuria. 
What? You motherfuckers! How? You don't even have a port! You cheating bastards! I blame Launces. If Launces hadn't said something about China falling, this would have never have happened. How the hell did this happen? They're gonna show up here, try to grab Korea. My country won't do it, right? My, my AI country won't take this fucking territory of Korea. Just like we won't take the uh, unoccupied territory right next to our borders. But by God, the country can somehow manifest itself with no ports back into existence. Who knows? I, I have no words at this point. All right. Kaiju is fixed, right? So we should be able to move Kaiju back out. Rejoin your sisters. Lord have mercy. Our battle cruisers are on station. Enemy battle cruisers are right next to us. Please engage. Okay, we got four months until the new battleship hulls come online. We also have some uh, new heavy cruiser stuff, right? Nope, light cruiser. Okay. The new big guns are here, so we can refit those. Don't really care about the small guns. Got okay, some new gas turbine propulsion coming for torpedoes. What do we got engine wise turbo electric drive yeah that's not gonna be used turbo electric drive in this game costs so much it's actually insane all right next turn Malaya does, in fact, have oil. Have I heard of the game on PC called The Last Train, or the Last Train Home? Set in World War I during the Russian Revolution. Free demo available, but the game itself was released two weeks ago. Interesting. I haven't heard of it. This is single player voltage. Single player on PC. Also, your boy Blue up in here. I completely missed you too, my dude. Thank you for jumping in. Hopefully you enjoy. Man, I'm missing everybody. I hope there ain't too many people I'm missing. I try to pay attention. I really do. All right, we have the Emperor's Fist. Going toe to toe with the battleship Dominion.
it's a lot of fun, man. I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun to build your own ships and take them into battle. All right, destroyers, head home. Mother, I hate that. I I actually hate it. Head home. Emperor's fist. Enemies spotted to the southwest. Make turns. Go. take control of a uh, Czechoslovak soldiers who fought in the war you have an armored train and in order to return home you must go east to Vladivostok then take a ship home interesting we've been spotted slow down fire armor piercing please let's match his direction of travel close the distance We've got them lined up. We're closing the distance. Should be able to get more guns on target real soon. First hit and a flood. Love it. It's always best when you can hit them before they can even shoot at you. Why fight in a fair fight when you can fight and take them out before they have a chance to shoot back? look painful. I bet he's regretting having those little tiny pea shooters. It's like, what do we do, sir? The enemy is outranging us. We can't shoot him. We can't run away either. All we can do, boys. Smile and wave. Just smile and wave. Must not let him see the fear in your eyes. We will go down as gentlemen. It's been an honor serving with you boys. Oof. An ammo detonation just to make it even worse. I like that's actual insult to injury. Like, just straight up ammo detonate him on the last hit. <laughs> I 
Oregon Trail, but in Russia. Oh my god, Prometheus just got touched. This has been an excellent showcase of just naval superiority right here. Like they haven't even gotten in range to fire a single shell at us and we have annihilated their entire fleet. Light cruisers tried to escape, so we're going to run them down. If we can. You can see the smoke screen right there from the light cruiser. massive hit that's gonna do it for that still have not even had a single shot fired in our direction this is just ridiculous we are in fact closing on the light cruiser Good hit. Good hit and a flood. Massive hit. Oh look, another one. They just keep volunteering themselves. Right? Look at this thing. It's almost perfect. They're firing back at us. We cannot let this go unpunished. Open up the angle. Fire all the guns. We cannot allow them to touch us. This has been the perfect naval battle. I refuse to allow these turrets to, to hit us. We got hit! Kill him! Kill him now! Murder with utmost prejudice. Okay, we're actually overpinning these light cruisers. Let's go to HE. That's what we needed. Even our HE is overpinning. Little high capacity HE. Oh, that's a death. <laughs> yep, sometimes you just gotta switch shells, boys.
Overpins with SAP, yeah. That, that's, you're not wrong. We lost zero crew members, but we did sustain a whopping, what, 20 damage? We did, no, 12. 12 whole damage. You believe that crap? 12 damage we received. How dare they? How dare they? The gall of those people trying to deal damage to us. All right, so that went well. I think we can all agree. And we're getting a bunch of uh, notifications. Welcome to the boss 2343. Appreciate you subscribing if you're in chat. And uh, David Weirs, thank you so much as well, my dude. I gotta find a way to like let uh, subscribers pop up on screen too. I have to adjust my notifications. I think they they deserve it. All right, so we have uh, Shogun, Grim, Yakasoba, and Heathen versus the Battle Cruiser Royal Oak and Battle Cruiser Rodney. They are Prince Consort class Battle Cruisers with eleven and a half inch guns. Interesting. Uh, Grim, Yakasoba, Heathen. I don't think you'll be needed for this fight. <laughs> what up, Tuxedo? Welcome. Good to see you. A gunboat line in World of Warships Legends. Uh, probably the Americans would be the one that I recommend the most. They're the easiest. Uh, Russians are fantastic gunboats as well. Um, the Germans have some utility, but I feel like they've been power crept. Um, personally, I, I think they've been power crept, but they have some utility with those sonars. Um, obviously, you got the British. The British can be used. They have a little bit less hit points, so you got to be a little bit more careful. But let's go ahead and detach everybody. Shogun, you're going to stay in the lead. The rest of you, just go ahead and head home. Dude, Grim, Heathen, you guys have been beat up. Shogun is here to rescue you. You've done well, fellas. To the northeast. She may not be as pretty, but by God is she effective. Enemy spotted off the port side bow. Continue to increase. Slow down to cruising speed. Start making our turn to starboard so that we can get all guns to bear. Enemies almost in range. Well, they're definitely in range to shoot. We just got to get a uh, enough of a solution. As they are faster moving ships, we want to also make sure we're using AP. Enemies are 15 kilometers out. And continue our turn. Target the lead ship, please. Stop flipping back and forth so that we maintain our target lock. The enemy is returning fire. But I believe we will be much more accurate than they will. We landed the first meaningful hit. Come 
one, Shogun. Show them what you're all about. There we go. Right on cue. That's going to leave a mark. Uh-oh. The British battlecruisers are up to their old tricks. We took a significant hit from an 11 and a half inch gun there. And a second. We're doing okay. I believe more in our 14 inch guns than their 11 and a half inch guns. So I'm pretty confident we're going to be able to do this. Look at that. All right, let's go ahead and flip this ship around, match their direction of travel. Watch this be the killing shot. Nope, not quite. All right, speed up. I don't want these guys running away. They are capable of 23 and a half knots, so we are actually faster than their battle cruisers. That checks out. What's the point of building a battle cruiser if it's not to have a faster battleship? I guess cheaper. Have a good night, Voltage. Appreciate you dropping in, my dude. Morning, Norska. Appreciate you dropping in as well. Come on, Shogun. You're better than this. Why is my freaking... I guess because we're going fast. Trying to catch up to the guy. So engine... Engine vibrations is definitely hurting us here. We're at 11.3 kilometers, so... We're definitely closing the distance. Let's go ahead and start opening up the angle again, get more guns to bear. The irony of that being the Rodney, while we have this sort of a gun layout, is not lost on me, by the way. little battle cruiser so hopelessly outmatched slow you down. Good luck running now, sunshine. You weren't faster before, and now you darn sure not. Alright, initiate the turn. Get all guns to bear. 
The firing angles on this ship are actually pretty good too. percent chance to hit and that's a dead battle cruiser we lost 69 crew normally I would say nice but it doesn't feel like nice in this instance but another 16,000 victory points things these armored towers kind of look like uh prison towers man the kaijus up against the light cruiser the blonde it's a retribution class light cruiser we'll, we'll see about that uh it has five inch guns four inch guns okay um for, we finally got the sisters back together so let's see how this goes Okay. Enemy is spotted to the east. Speed up time. I think it's about time to uh, retire the old kaiju class. What do you guys think? They've done really well, but their age is starting to show. Alright, the light cruiser is within spitting distance. Any moment now, she's gonna light up like a Christmas tree and have all three of the kaiju class firing at her. Right on cue. She goes dark. She's trying to hide in her smoke screen, but that won't save her. When she comes out of that smoke, all three of the kaiju class will be ready to fire once again. Big hits. And down she goes. <laughs> That didn't take long.
Sumatra? Um, where is Sumatra? Somebody quick, look it up. I think that's, I want to say that's over in, uh, it's in Indonesia. Okay. Where's that at? Am I crazy? Or is it it's not over there? I I am I'm literally exhausted right now, so where where am I steering wrong here? Sumatra, where would you be? Southeast Asia. That's kind of where I was thinking. It's New Guinea. It didn't pop up in the thing. Oh, it's right here. It's literally right next to us. <laughs> I was like, where is it? It's right here. Got it. <laughs> it's right next to us. I was like, looking everywhere. I was like, it has to be somewhere here, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Learn something new every day. It's the other side of the, the thing from us. Okay, well, fair enough. Hopefully that will uh, do pretty well for us. Don't know why we're not able to have a better... Oh, because they have a fucking fleet right here. Again, parking right on top of us. Little turds. Hopefully we win this regardless, so next turn. It's a coin flip. It's a coin flip. I like I like how we've spent so much time staring at Sumatra. I haven't even paid attention. I saw like the thing pop up for Sumatra and I'm like, where, where is it? Let me at it. <laughs> I'm all for it. Invade Sumatra. Where is this place? Staring right at Sumatra and it has oil. Now we gotta wait for them to build ships again. War has erupted between the British and the Italians. Interesting. The Emperor's Fist is going to war versus the battlecruiser Hector and a couple of cruisers and a, a torp boat. Okay, whatever. Whatever, man. What up, Scotty? Oh, I tried playing tanks last night solo, man. It's brutal. It's just, it's, there's no strategy to it anymore. It's literally just all like little stuff running around as fast as it can go and, and just trying to like auto lock and shoot you. Like it, there doesn't seem to be much in the way of strategy anymore. Like the team's just pretty much all clumped together and run in one spot. If you try to do the opposite, if you try to like move around, then you end up running into like three or four little little bastards and they just neuter you. All right, Emperor's Fist. Time to do your thing again, baby. Enemy spotted to the southwest. I actually just got a message from Clone Guy tonight, uh, which is interesting. So I, apparently he's doing something special in the near future, and he's asking if I want to be a part of it. So I might actually be joining Clone Guy in some tanks in the near future. Good 
Marine Capri. Let's try to close the distance a little bit here. Oh, big hit. Let's go ahead and slow her down. Open up the angle. Another big hit. Should do it, or come close anyway. There, we just took a nasty hit, and we dealt one right back. All right, start turning in. That's the end of the Hector, in theory. Actually, we're flooding the same compartment, so it's probably not. Flood the thing in the middle! We've hit both ends of the ship. We haven't hit the middle. Now we, we flooded a middle section. This little turret's hanging on too. goes down. I think that guy's dead. these guys just keep holding on don't they it's like they get low and then they just miraculously recover it's all right though we got a whole more a whole lot more shells where that came from fire the guns okay that's really annoying it's all right though fire the guns time thank you that was unnecessary but we'll take it anyway It was, it was, in fact, you with the, the Rudik, yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's not just that it's a annoying deck to play against, like, in general. It's just that we got so many people waiting to get into a game, and then, of course, we ended up 
getting screwed over by the the maintenance anyway but i just you know i try to keep i i try to keep the duels to like not drug drug out too long so we don't usually play like deck outs and stuff like that like that but uh it's not to say that you don't have a good deck or anything like that i just i can't i can't sit there for 30 40 minutes dueling one person when i got everybody in chat sitting there waiting for their turn you know all right, Capri, appreciate you, my dude. Have a great have a great time at work. Be careful on your drive. You got to quit being late for work, my guy. <laughs> I mean, I I've heard, there are there are reasons to be late for work occasionally, but uh, my streams probably aren't that, but I do appreciate you, my dude. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I actually had a phone call. Yeah, Runic has that has that thing where, like, when you trigger certain effects, it doesn't allow you to attack that turn. So that's why I was like, dude, either attack me or or I'm quitting because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep doing this until you deck me out. I was like, I was I was triggered. After like 15, what was it, 15 or 20 minutes straight of the same, I was like, dude, this is ridiculous. We're done. We're done. All right. Where was I? Let's do a uh, fleet check. They're down to 68 ships. We have sank all but one of their battleships. They have four battle cruisers left, and it's just a bunch of little stuff. <laughs> we have completely decimated the British fleet. They are all but extinct. All right, let's go ahead and reactivate. Well, let's hold. God, I wish we could just attack that freaking fleet, man. That shit drives me crazy. That fleet just sitting there, eating away at my opportunity to freaking... do succeed in this naval invasion meanwhile they're almost done invading southern china because of this shit it's driving me crazy man there's no reason that their their fleet should be able to sit in the goddamn naval invasion with an entire armada around them and nobody attacks them it's infuriating Like, it's legitimately infuriating. Still can't quite do the submarines yet. Oh, actually, we can. We got, we've got the coastal submarines. All right, let's do it. Uh, we can do groups of three. So let's do...
24 of them. And the first three will go to Petro. Port Arthur. Vladivostok. Magong. Balak Balik Papan. Bentulu. Bangkok. Okinawa. All right. How are we looking? We got plenty of tonnage to do it. All right. So that's all of those done. Let's grab some more. Build. These three will be way away. Brunei. Eastern Siberia. Uh, let's go Pelu. Pelalu. Um, Guam. Saipan. Manila. Devout. All right. It's going to be a lot of submarines coming online in six months. The beauty of submarines is they're super cheap. They're quick to build. And you just set them and forget them. Essentially. What up, David? Robert, appreciate you. I'm doing well, man. Appreciate you dropping in. Hopefully you're having a great night. All right, these two battle cruisers. Can you move over here and uh, get in here as well and increase our odds, please? At this point, I'm down for whatever I can to try to increase this as much as possible because they're definitely going to end up taking southern China, and I'm going to be upset. I'm not going to lie. There's nothing I can do to stop that. They're going to take it. It's so stupid. God, they're so obnoxious. I wish my armies in my areas would actually, like, fight back. Look, they've completely pushed us out of here. Despite us getting all the way up to, like, 75%, they suddenly, like, had a resurgence and just annihilated us. <sighs> is what it is. All right, next turn. Yeah, as far as I know, they're not even thinking about trying to port this to console. There's a lot of folks that I know uh, come in here wishing it would, though. But honestly, this, this game doesn't take a real, like, crazy PC to run. So, basically, any of you guys that have any sort of PC, like, should be able to run this game. The Shogun, finally, we get to attack that freaking fleet. I think that's the, yeah, I think that's the one that's right there. So, let's get rid of it. That'll help increase our odds as well at taking, taking Singapore.
The Arc Busset class was a large series of 20 torpedo boats built for the French Navy during 1900 to 1904. All these ships fought in the First World War and two of them were sunk. They had a displacement of 323 tons and a top speed of 28 knots. All right, Shogun, you know the deal. Enemy spotted to the northeast. Make haste. Ah, uh, your last PC died a month ago? I hear you there, man. I wish I had a better PC that I could use to, like, use this PC for streaming and the other PC to actually game on, because there's a lot of games on PC I would like to play and stream. But I can't do both at the same time at a decent enough quality to make it worth it, you know? It's really unfortunate. Everything's so expensive to try to get like a gaming PC. Like it's so expensive. Beautiful. Ricocheting off these heavy cruisers. It's the war spike. It's a dead war spike. Yeah, exactly, Scotty. So, like I said, if I could... I've got a decent enough PC. This PC here is decent enough, but it can't, it can't play the game at a high quality and stream it at the same time. So what would be useful is if I had a gaming PC that was at least comparable to this that I could stream or I could game on, and then this one I could stream off of. So you, you wouldn't overtax a single PC.
next next month they end up taking south or southern china boy the british are real obnoxious and i love how they take over my territory and within a month they're already attacking southern china i've had this this whole time my government wouldn't try to take theirs uh my government won't try to take this it's stupid like it drives me crazy that they're they're so aggressive their government my government won't do anything they just sit here and watch. <laughs> Drives me crazy. Also, the, the like conquest of Sumatra didn't go through, apparently. So that's a thing. The Susanu versus the Invincible. Um, I mean, I'll take that fight, but is this still damaged? Like, that's real bad for us if it is. Dr. Van Gelder, welcome. All right, enemy is spotted to the southwest. Susanu is not, in fact, damaged, so that's good. That is not the southwest. That is the northwest. That is the opposite of the southwest. Okay. Somebody needs to go back to uh, compass training. Enemy spotted to the southwest. Start firing over the starboard side. What's up, Dr. Van Gelder? What you got? First hit. So in World of Warships Legends, you're not getting your bonus steal from a fleet bonus? I mean, you probably are. It's just not much of a bonus. Like if you're in a fleet and there's a bonus for for steel, like it's just not much of a bonus. I think right now, the fleet for uh, my fleet ends up with a 12% steel bonus currently. Calls himself invincible. Oh my god, we've got a flash fire. It was contained to one turret. We're okay. Now they've got a flash fire. Can they contain it? Yep, they can contain it too. Well, this is a battle of the sluggernauts. Good lord. Both, both ships took insane damage there from flash fires. Uh, where do you see that applied? Uh, it should be, I would imagine, anytime you actually gain, um, steel, it would be... Honestly, I don't know if you would see a steel bonus applied, because the only time you gain steel and stuff is usually from, like, um, campaign. Like, when you're finished with a campaign, you'll gain some steel for the over-levels, uh... 
for like arena brawls stuff like that sometimes they give out steel um, ranked battles so you'll just have to keep an eye out on what they say that they're giving out for the the win of a steel or like when you finish the the ranked or whatever and then see what you actually end up getting but yeah i mean it's just not a very it's not a lot so like if you're guaranteed to get like 200 steel for completing ranked battles a ranked season and you've got a 12 percent bonus on top of that you're going to get 224 steel so it's really not a a huge difference in the amount that you earn but it will add up over time And yeah, the steel is per level. So if like you're getting five per level, I mean, I I forget how how it's gonna work. Like it's it's almost at at that range. Like if you're thinking about five, okay. So what is twelve percent of five, right? If five is a hundred percent, divide a hundred, or divide five by one hundred, right? It'd be point zero five, right? Question mark. I think God might, yeah, it should be 0 0.05. So you have 0 0.05 more steel than you would have had. So it's probably what, what the problem is, is that it looks the same, but you're probably earning a fraction of a steel extra. You just don't know it. I mean... To be fair, it's 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 not that it's weak on Wargaming's part. I mean, they don't have to offer us these bonuses for fleets and stuff. It's just one of those things where, like, the depending on where you're seeing your steel. Like, if you see a bigger portion of steel, you'll see that there is an extra bit chalked on there for your bonus. But when you're dealing with such a small number, like a individual milestone for the campaign over the levels that you've already gotten, if you're only earning five steel per level... Like, it, you're only going to get a 12% buff on top of that. So, you're getting, you know, a small amount, a fraction of a steel extra per level. So, again, you're still earning more steel. It's just on such a small amount, you're not going to notice it necessarily. What up, Eclipse? Appreciate you dropping in, my dude. Yeah, it takes takes a long time, man. It's, the forge is the most most uh, expensive stuff in the game. There is no doubt about it. No doubt about it. This fleet is still here. Oh, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. This fleet is just obnox. Just one battleship sitting right in the middle of. Or no, that's our battleship. It's whatever this fleet is. Sitting right on top. Our battleship is sitting right on top of them. Will not fight them. And they are holding up my chance to succeed. If I fail this because of this, I'm going to lose it. It's like this. I ended up failing this because of this guy too. One, one little tiny fleet sitting in the middle of all of this. None of our guys will engage it. All right, let's look at ship design. Uh, research, we already did our, our armor stuff, right? Yep. One more month, we've got uh, new battleships coming up. New battleships, new heavy cruisers, all the things. Beautiful. Can't wait to see it. Next turn. They've replaced their admiralty leader again. 
And we have unlocked Modernized Dreadnoughts, Modernized Dreadnought 2 and 3 as well. Southern China has been a has been taken. They still have a 100% army logistics, despite the fact that we have wiped out their entire goddamn fleet. Annoying. Meanwhile, we're over here with 32%. Soon enough. How are we doing? Okay, did they, they finally moved their fleet out of here. That's good. Now we're up to a 60% chance to succeed. It has a battle cruiser in it. This freaking port has a god darn battle cruiser in it. All right, well, 60% is better than 48, so we'll take it. Um, we lost southern China, which is a huge hit to our economy. We'll get it back one round at a time, guys. It's obnoxious, but we'll get there. Freaking British being dirty, man. Being real dirty. All right. I'm going to leave this deficit. That's fine. All right. Let's go ship designs. Let's see what we got. New design. I want to look at the battleship hulls, the battle cruiser hulls. Uh, we already have Hong Kong. Uh, we have to take the rest of southern China. Hong Kong's its own separate port. Look at this monstrosity. Good lord. This is the modernized dreadnought. How many casemates would you like? The answer is yes. All right, so we have... These are the three new hulls. This is 83 hull form, 85 hull form. So technically, this would be the better hull. Technically. But I kind of like the idea of having all of these casemates. I'm not going to even lie to you. <laughs> it's a very small change between the two. This one is slightly better. The, the modernized Dreadnought 2 hull is slightly better. But casemates. <laughs> I got to have them. All right, we're, we're going for the case baits in this one. Let's go for a 30-knot battleship if we can. Uh, we, that's a lot. All right, let's try 27. Okay, that's a little better. We'll go 27 knots. Standard crew quarters. Semi-oil. Induced. Geared turbines. Auxiliary. Shaft 2. Electric 2. Krupp 3. Anti-torque 3. Triple hull bottom. Anti-Flooding 3, Citadel 3. All right. Now let's throw a tower on this big pagoda tower. Let's go. We're getting fancy, boys. All, all of the fancy. Throw the big old pagoda up on there. Why not? Big old skyscraper. All of it. Tall secondary tower. Why not? This thing is going to be a monster. I'm going to have so much fun with this. All right. Mega complex funnel. What does that give us? 93%. What if just funnel complex? This gives us... So we could do two of these. Fair enough. Move this forward as far as we can. Oh, we have all the room. All of it. Okay. Now for the fun part. Guns. Lots of guns. We have 15-inch guns. Oh, no. But we just got the Mark III 14-inch guns. 
I think we go with the Mark III 14 inch guns first for this ship. And then from here on, we'll go for the 15 inch guns. This is the last 14 inch battleship we will make. Um, you know what we didn't do though? We didn't do this. Dude, this thing is insane. This thing is actually insane. Okay. So, Barbettes. I kind of want to go with a more standard uh, arrangement up here. I don't want to go with the weird arrangement. So, we go with a standard uh, superimposed Barbette. Throw that, like, there. And then back here in the back... Uh, very tall, superimposed Barbette 2. Trying to figure out how I want to do this. Like, surely that would go there, right? Right? So if we go with main guns and go with the 14-inch Mark III guns, slap that there, slap that there. Put that there. That leaves a lot of room right here. Standard superimposed ball barbet. Like, I feel like the next logical choice would be to put a 14 inch on the deck as close as we can to that. We've got a bit of an aft weight offset, so we're going to slide this forward. Now we put another barbette right here. <gasps> we can't have another six. Ah, oh, sadness. All right. Well, if that's the case, then I know what we must do. And it's a straightforward and simple solution. Since I can't have what I want, I will take what I can get. And that is... Wing turrets. That is a lot of firepower. That is a lot of unnecessary firepower. I take it back. I take it back. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think we can do better. I think we can do better. So, uh, Barbette comes back here. Uh, I, I'll go with like a standard Barbette or something. Or maybe we go with a second super tall Barbette. Put that there. Go for a main gun, center line gun, 14 inch double barrel. Put that up there. Rotate it the other direction. Please do not discharge the gun into the, uh, the, the, the superstructure, please. I don't ask a lot. Now we should be able to slide that back just a little bit. These guns can still rotate just fine. But now we have some room on the deck for some potential, like, secondaries. So before we do that, let's go ahead and jump into secondaries. 
Uh, we're going to go with 7-inch secondaries. We have Mark III 7-inch guns that reload in 18 seconds. So we're going to grab that. And we're going to fill all of these casemates full of 7-inch guns. Just checking to see if there's anything funky with the hull. Maybe there's extra case spades that are available. I don't think there is, though. Yeah. All right. In that case, six secondaries in the pagoda. How many of these can we get? Uh, if we go with eight, or wait, no, those would be ridiculous. Five inch. Can't get the five inch guns in there, unfortunately. Okay, four inch. Can't get the four inches in there either. Three inch. Are those not capable of holding guns? Oh no, they can, it just has to be two inch guns apparently. Just two inch guns everywhere. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. That top one's gotta go. Maybe we could throw a two inch single up there. Nah. Nah, it doesn't make any sense. Just guns sticking out of everything. It's beautiful. All right, so for secondaries in here, what can we do? I mean, we're running, what, seven inch guns here. So some six inch guns for a little bit of extra horsepower. Or do we just go with seven inch turrets and say, screw it? I don't know. It says it can turn. Let's put it like there. That makes more sense. That would be much more likely to turn. Yeah, that seems seems fair. Do we put one of these up here too? No. Nah. Can't. Oh well, it's worth a shot. The only downside is now, I feel like there should be a little secondary barbette there. I can't put it there because of these turrets. What about tall? Nope. Worth a shot. Hmm. I kind of feel like this would be moved back. be moved back and then we could do something with this maybe because if I move anything further back then this aft is too heavy just trying to balance out the empty space on the ship to make it a little less ridiculous
Because right now we got an aft weight offset. Like... And I just feel like this needs to have something in it, like a uh, short super firing barbette for secondaries, something like that. Put a secondary turret in there. We've got seven inch guns all through here, so maybe we go with the, these are, hold that thought. Let's go down here, make sure we have this up. Go down here, make sure this is Electro Hydro. Make sure this is on. Grab this, go to Stereoscopic 3, Hydro Acoustic 2, Advanced Radio. We are definitely overweight. Shocker. Hmm. Maybe get rid of that goofy turret. Now we've got a bit of a four-weight offset. We're still overweight, like, by a lot. Can we drop this down to, like, 25 knots? That gets us, yeah, that gets us much more tonnage to play with. Okay. Should be standard ratio, high capacity with... Semi-armor piercing is fine. Still. Okay. What do we want to do? How do we want to set this up? I feel like we should have some, like, secondaries in the middle. So, or some secondary towers in the middle. So, like, tall secondary towers. I would like three of them, I think. Something like... Something like that if we can get away with it. Go with the secondaries. Let's go with like five inch double barrels. Slap them up there. Beautiful. Now. That seems more logical. <laughs> I love how I can't even say that with a straight face. Yeah, look how much more firepower we get. Again, not the prettiest battleship in the world, but it should be effective. And the aft weight offset isn't really that bad. And then, of course... Once we get this thing kitted out, like, we should be able to control everything relatively well? Question mark? 13 inches on the turret is fine. Go 5 inches on the top. 11 inches for the barbette. Let's go 1.5 on the inner belt. Four inches on the first inner belt. Let's go for a full inch inner deck. Let's take this up to three inches on the superstructure. Actually, that probably would be a terrible idea, but eh, it's fine. We'll leave it. We'll leave this as is and then try to get some armor on this thing. It's already got a 14 inch belt, which is kind of impressive. So we just got to get the rest of it. So let's take the deck down to three inches, but make it all three inches. So it's just a flat three inch deck all the way across. And then the rest I need to make in four and aft belt armor here. So let's go for like five inches of four armor. Six inches aft. Six inches 
Oh, we got plenty. Hold that, hold that phone. Eight inches. Eight inches. Okay, ten inches. Why is the pitch so bad now? Seriously, why why did the pitch go so badly? Pitch motion is affected by the weight distribution, hull design, and size of the ship. Adding heavy objects along the center line will increase this motion and affect negatively yeah, but we just added a whole shit ton of armor to it. That's what we're adding. Why is that making the pitch worse if we're adding armor along the freaking lower parts of the ship? Am I crazy? I am confused. Like, I don't know how this makes the pitch worse. Clearly, we just need more normal belt armor, so we'll just go with all of that to balance it out a little bit. All right, let's drop this down to 10 inches on the fore and aft. And then take this up to 16 at least. Seventeen. Almost got to 18 inches of the main belt armor. So we are definitely protected in the middle of the ship. Yeah, I'm sure the Pagoda Tower probably isn't helping our pitch and roll angles, if I had to guess. You know, if yeah, just if I had to guess, I would say this is probably not the most ideal arrangement. Uh, we could probably drop this down to two. That might help a little bit. It does help a little bit. It's not a huge change. Does that get us to 18? Oh, it does. It definitely does. All right. Then we just add a little bit here and there. There we go. It's about as good as we're going to get her. What the hell do we call this monstrosity? What up, Hooded Legends? Appreciate you dropping in. Have a good night, Eclipse. Appreciate you. What the hell do we call this Anybody got any ideas? Humpback? Do we call Quasimodo? That is an interesting, interesting design. How long will this thing take to build? I didn't look at that. 31 months oh my god that might be a uh that might be a problem i mean the mighty sushi yegan do we do we go with a shorter like displacement like a not as long uh, and get rid of some of these. What do you guys think? Because that build time is ridiculous. 31 months to build this thing. I think we do. I, I think we got to. Let's get rid of all this monstrosity, or at least some of this monstrosity. Let's shorten the hull down. See what we can get away with. Honestly, the build time doesn't change that much. Yeah, the build time actually doesn't change that much. So, uh, 
Undo. Why? All right, so we kind of screwed everything up, shocker. We can fix that real quick. Messing everything up. There we go. No harm, no foul. It's done. Well, you guys got Yagen, the Mighty Sushi. Lances is here with Yamaresh Porcupine. <laughs> uh... Let's go with Yegan. Why not? Save it! This thing is going to be ridiculous. I had to choose it just for the, the casemates alone. I mean, that is a lot of 7-inch guns. In fact, we have 10 14-inch guns. 22 7-inch guns. 18 5 inch guns, 18 2 inch guns. Kuhai is Japanese for devastation. Uh, we can we can save that for later. I'm sure we'll have some more crazy designs coming up. All right, so what do we got in terms of displacement? Or we got we got plenty of shipbuilding capacity. So let's build two of these. That puts us over the limit. Of course it does. Um, Suzanu is repairing. Uh, suspend the repair. Where are you currently at? You're currently at Kuching. Um, we're going to go ahead and scrap you instead of repairing you. Doesn't make any sense to spend eight months repairing the ship. It was in a flash fire. Let's just get rid of it. All right, we are losing 92 million per turn. We got to, we got to address that pretty quickly here. Um... Transports are still taking a hit. Drop down our 
research a little bit here. All right. Hopefully we grab this pretty quickly. That'll be, what, next month. Let's go. Also, I just realized we had the ability to build another one. Kajimoto, Japanese for Quasimodo. <laughs> yeah, we'll name the second the second battleship Kajimoto. Please tell me we we succeeded in the naval invasion. Please, I need some good news. Okay, we have the battle cruisers getting into their first fight against a Colossus class battleship and a couple of cruisers. So this will be the first time we get to see the two battle cruisers in action. Hopefully they live up to the hype. Now remember, they will have uh, young crews, so there's that. Look at the size difference. This is their battleship, right? Like, this is the best that they have to offer versus our battle cruisers, which are just absolutely going to decimate them. We have trained crews. Once these things stop having a seizure, Cthulhu and Sukushi are about to uh, go have some fun, I think. These are armed with Mark III 13-inch guns. They go 30 knots. And they ought to be more than capable of absolute annihilation. Even with a subpar crew. We have been spotted. And we are opening fire. All right, let's drop down to a cruise speed. Open up the angle. take it a little bit a little bit easy here I don't want to be taking unnecessary hits these are battle cruisers so they're not quite as armored starting to land some hits. Beautiful. Huge hit.
thought I clicked the AP button. the light cruisers. Goes the battleship. He's still shooting AG. a race to see who would sink the light cruiser the fastest. Ouch. Stubbed your toe getting a beer. Jonathan Copeland, welcome. This is definitely not World of Warships Legends. This is Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It's a game that I stream uh, when I'm not playing World of Warships Legends. It's a lot of fun. You get to design and build your own ships and take them into combat and test them out. It's a lot of fun. We are currently playing a legendary difficulty campaign as the Imperial Japanese Navy. We started in the year 1890. The campaign goes all the way up through 1960, I now believe. It's like a 70-year-long campaign. Yeah, Thor, I'm, I'm going to be following you real soon. Like, I'm starting to get tired myself. I kind of wanted to see if we, we grabbed uh, Singapore first. But uh, welcome to the stream, Jonathan. I hope you enjoy. And we failed to get Singapore. That is highly unfortunate. Highly, highly unfortunate. But we will not stop. We will go immediately.
for southern China. Because I want my province back. That makes me all my money. Oh, for the love of God, you got to be kidding me. Don't tell me you're stuck again. Okay, well, that says you can move there. So there's clearly some way to move. Oh, Lord, have mercy. We do that, maybe they can move. No, <laughs> they still. It's like we're stuck. Shogun, you go up there too. All right. Um, just as a recap on what has occurred today, we have pretty much systematically wiped out all of Britain's war fighting capabilities on the ocean. They started this episode with over 200, I think it was 240 or 260 ships, and they currently have 53. They are building 75 new ships, but uh, currently only have 53 ships available to fight with. So we have pretty much decimated their entire fleet. And when they started this war... They had over 300 vessels, so yeah, we have completely annihilated them. From a finance standpoint, or from a war score standpoint, we have 752,000 victory points versus their 124,000 victory points. I feel like their victory points have been inflated quite a bit by just dumb stuff. But uh, yeah, it's been a long war so far. And we still have a long ways to go if we're going to take all their territory off of them, especially if we keep getting screwed over. Uh, from a fleet standpoint, we are building a whole bunch of submarines. As you can see, three months until all of our submarines come online. Uh, so that'll help quite a bit with our transports. That'll also help from a army logistics standpoint, hopefully. Um... We do have some quality control coming up, which is going to reduce the flaws in our new ship designs, but that's still a ways off. We have some new advanced towers coming up as well. We have the new battleship design, which you guys just saw. Uh, the British have pushed back a little bit in terms of from Bangladesh, they invaded Burma. They managed to take that from us. Then they initiated an invasion of southern China. So we're going to go up there and try to invade southern China. And uh, that's where we will pick up the next episode as we try to take back our territory that they stole from us. Um, that is our goal. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Oh yeah, this is, this is a fun game, Jonathan. I appreciate you. Um, check out, Check it out. It's called Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. You literally get to build your ships um, and then take them into combat. It, it's a lot of fun. And it's a top-down strategy as well. So you get a little bit of everything. It's, it is it is truly a lot of fun. Every ship that you see here, like we, we've designed, right? Like these are all our designs. You can design anything from torpedo boats all the way up to battleships. You've got to work your way through the years. You do research over here as well. Uh, we currently are not trying to do anything in terms of the research. We're just letting the AI choose the research. Um, 
Are we just giving it money to do so? But yeah, you got to balance your budget, uh, research over time, better weapons, better aiming systems, all of that stuff. Like, it, it's a lot of fun. So anyway, I'm going to call it a night. I appreciate you guys. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.